And we are live. We are live. Let me uh, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. I actually bit my tongue today. So I'm going to sound even worse through this fucking mask. But we should be live. We should be live. What's up, Darkness? How you doing? Flutter, what's up? Magda, what's up? Justin, thank you, man. CJNG, yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can get back talking about uh, El Mencho and his his uh, his ways. But yeah, it's been a weird couple of days, man. I can't lie. It's been a weird couple of days. Thankfully, YouTube accepted the appeal. Uh, first things first. Um, I need to thank you guys for all the support that you showed me um, on the comments. You know, uh, voicing your support is much appreciated. Uh, everybody who retweeted my stuff talking about it, amazing. Because ultimately, that that can't hurt your case, right? When a lot of people are uh, are vouching for you. So, for everybody who reached out and supported, um, amazing. Thank you very much. You guys are absolute legends. Um, couldn't have done it without you. And ultimately, you are the lifeblood of this channel. Um, so yeah, the last couple of days have been crazy. Uh, haven't really had time to make fucking content or anything like that. I say that I have done the script for the next video, but I'm way behind on it. It's a CJNG one. And yeah, what's gone on in the last couple of days has kind of made me rethink the direction, not direction of the channel. That's kind of a wrong way, but I, I kind of, that's a wrong way of describing it, but I kind of want to introduce different types of content to this channel. I've mentioned it before, uh, in live content, I would like to actually bring people on, like maybe narco journalists, you know, people who we can have discussions with about what we talk about. That would be interesting for me. Um, also, I want to do like narco biographics, so of certain narcos like El Mencho, like Miguel Trevino Morales, etc., even like lesser known cartel members or Sicarios, like uh, Chino Antrax, for example. Um, it's definitely got me thinking about different types of content, things I want to do. Maybe things I could, I, I should actually pull my finger out and actually do them. Um, so yeah, I've definitely been thinking about various things to do, very various different bits of content uh, to do. What's up, Gemma? What's up? Your Kai is here, big up. Adriana, yes, men show saving the day. He gave YouTube a phone call. He gave YouTube a phone call. Yes, sir, we did it. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. Disturban ha is having the same issue that I was having. He had the exact same issue like the day before me. They, they hit him with the same thing. So I'm not sure what's happening on YouTube's end. I'm not sure what's happening on YouTube's end, to be honest with you. Um, I, I, I happen to believe they may have introduced some like new AI that may be catching people out by mistake. I wouldn't be surprised if that's happening, especially when it comes to faceless channels. A lot of people have said that, that maybe like faceless channels are being affected more. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest with you. I certainly wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. Um, but yeah, we, we appealed the decision. They accepted our appeal, so we're back, which is great, which is great. I always expected some trouble to come from YouTube, but not that type of trouble. Do you know what I mean? Not that type of trouble. But yeah, we, we successfully appealed it, which is amazing. Celeste, what's up? Uh, nah, bro, too expensive. Valentine's is too expensive, man. Fuck that shit. Sometimes it pays to be single. Sometimes it pays to be uh, pays to be single. If I have a face, your voice doesn't match your face. I could I could take the mask off right and just wear the old glasses, but this is like it is what it is, isn't it? This is this is what you're used to. We may we may go to the glasses though. Um, if I if I have people on, like I'm not going to wear a mask. Do you know what I mean? That'd be a bit weird. That'd be a bit weird. Yes, big up Palasonic, man. Salute, one of the Twitch gang. Remove the mask already. You did a face reveal. That's a good point. Is it really a face reveal, though? I had glasses on. Real Matrix character vibes from the face reveal vid. 
Big up to Panasonic, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your, boy, your boy Talis had to call YouTube <laughs> to end this nonsense. Yeah, you went you went full El Mencho on him. You went full El Mencho. Big up to yourself, Gatti. Thank you. And thank you to Jeff at the Sit Down Podcast. Excellent podcast if you haven't checked him out. I've done something with him previously talking about the Zetas a few months back. So check that out. He's got a really good channel. He talks about organized crime, mainly like um, the uh, the mafia. But he does he does great content, really good content. Big up to Jeff. Thank you, man. Salute. Salute. Hands, what's up, bro? What's up? Nice to see you here, Leslie. Nice to see you here. And big uh, Dougie Beats as well. Salute. Can breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, man. But it's definitely got me thinking about different types of content uh, to cover. Because I, I don't always want to do gore. To be honest with you, I want to do more like narco personalities. There's a few people I want to do videos on. Like I found more information about El, El Mencho I wasn't really sure of before. I'd like to do like a full biographic for El Mencho, Miguel Trevino Morales, maybe uh, Chino Antrax, the Sicario for the Sinaloa Cartel. There's a few I want to do, kind of want to do them. Maybe some origin stories for smaller cartels like Cartel Del Noreste. Um, that, that I've, got, I've, got, I've got a few things in mind. Thank you, man. Thank you, Yusuf. Big up to yourself. Nah, I'm not watching the Man City game. I'm not watching the Man City game. Nah, they're going to win, bro. They're going to win. Have I watched the Griselda Blanco series? No, I haven't. I haven't. And also a couple of true crime cases I've got in mind as well. A couple of like regular but disturbing true crime cases. Great fight, bro. Uh, GQ Kev. I've got the Terbiev, personally. I think he's too strong for Dimitri Bivol. I think he's too strong. I've heard a lot about the Suzanne Kappa case. I've I've been asked for, asked that a few times. I, I I could do it. Yeah, I could do it. I could do it definitely. What's up, Deborah? Big up. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Jorge, salute. Canada. Canada in the house. What's up? So yeah, YouTube basically hit me, bro, with uh, demonetization because apparently of reused content, which is a very vague term. Basically, what they class reused content as is taking something, uploading it, and then not adding your own flair to it, basically. Which makes no sense considering I do my own scripts and shit. But yeah, yeah. So it was crazy, but it was what it was. It got appealed successfully, thank fucking God. And here we are, here we are. Thank you, Keen. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I beat YouTube, G-Man. I beat YouTube. We, we, we got a dub over YouTube. And thank you again, Gatti. Salute uh, Louisiana. Louisiana, sorry. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. I think it's new software, Jeff. I think it's new software. And they're hitting a lot of channels. I think it's new software. I heard, I've heard that shorts can get people in a lot of trouble, but I don't do shorts when it comes to like content. I don't do shorts. And I, I was thinking of doing shorts for a long time. And I'm, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. But I heard shorts. In particular, they come down hard on. Thank you, Ibrahim. Thank you. Yeah, man, Disturbance helped me out, bro. Disturbance helped me out. He retweeted my stuff when I was going through it. I did the same for him before before I got hit as well. Um, yeah, Disturbance a real cool dude, man. Uh, very, very, very cool dude. Gentleman, uh, Disturbance. Really good channel. And a better, just a good guy as well, which is the main thing. But yeah, big up to Disturbin. No, I didn't. I didn't see the Senate hearing about social media. No, I've I've not seen it. I, I'm sure I'd probably get mad by it. 
Yeah, I've got a little bit of facial hair going right now. I gave it a proper shave and trim. Someone said I look like fucking Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, I've, I get that a lot as well. The number uh, uh, chills, yeah. Number 15. Yeah, I like chills. Yeah, Ovidio is not getting out anytime soon, bro. Ovidio is not getting out anytime soon. He is, uh, he's gonna, I'd, I'd assume he will have a book thrown at him, to be honest. There's, uh, that's another thing I kind of want to do as well, is cartel news, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether that would go down well, like regular cartel news. We shall see. We shall see. I might experiment with certain things. Thank you, King. Thank you. Oh, uh, no, no worries. Uh, you, your your bank account got hacked. Yeah, somebody cloned my credit card. Uh, sorry, no, my debit card years and years and years ago. And they spent like £200. I, I That's happened to me before as well. That's fuck it. That's a horrible feeling when somebody's taken out of your bank account. That's a horrible feeling. Thank you, Brandy. Not the, not the last time I checked. So I sent Disturban my my video what I what I did to appeal. So you have to you have, you you basically have to appeal with a video. So you make a video five minutes or less explaining why it's a wrong decision, and basically that's it. I sent him my my video for an example. So hopefully he he uh, gets it sorted. Big up to Wayne. Salute to Ohio. Tune Chile. Sorry, Tune Chi, sorry. Big up to Jamaica. Maybe El Mencho put in the word. I doubt it. I very much doubt it. Yeah, I mean, there are some true crime cases I want to cover. But I want to do, um, like, narco personalities. I feel like now I've, I've been down, like, the El Mencho rabbit hole again. And I found information I wasn't really aware of before in regards to Mencho, certain things that happened, um, even a couple, of, even of like a like a couple of um, like statements from his court case in America when he got sentenced uh, for drug dealing. Um, just interesting little pieces that gives you a glimpse into what his psyche is. Things that I've not covered, things that I haven't talked about. Um, also as well, there's various, there's various stories through the timeline of El Mencho that are kind of shrouded in mystery. Like for example, when he got captured allegedly by El Chango Vargas, uh, who was a high ranking guy within the La Familia Michoacana, this was the mid two thousands. Apparently Mencho was captured by, by Chango Vargas when Mencho was a Sicario, but for whatever reason, Vargas let him live. Like, the more you look at Mencho's story, it's like the butterfly effect. There's been so many times if, like, he took right instead of left, he would have never been where he is now. Like, he married into the right family. He avoided death. He avoided arrest multiple times. Just crazy shit. Crazy shit. Certain people, certain people got arrested. Certain people died. He, he, he capitalized on it. His career has basically been the butterfly effect. One one of those instances doesn't happen. He's not where he is. It's actually crazy when you research it. Oh, Cannonballer, uh, thank you. Hello, handsome. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. So happy for you. Thank you. Now, you've always been a big, big support. You've always been a big, big support. You're a legend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Absolute fucking legend. That is way too generous. Way too generous, man. Thank you very much. And hopefully you're well. I've not done a live stream since before Christmas, so I haven't been able to catch up with you guys. And thank you. Absolute legend. That is way too kind. Way too fucking kind. Way too fucking kind. And Jeff as well coming back at you. Um, short screwed me. I had one that got 6 million views. Um, a Goodfellas thing that wasn't that that's what I believe it was that got me hit. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. 
It's crazy. The thing is with the whole reused content thing, it's so ambiguous as well. It's so ambiguous. No, I, I, I still work. I work full time. I work full time outside of YouTube. I've not seen it, bro. I'm not really an Apple guy. I'm an Android guy. I'm a fucking weirdo, bro. I'm a fucking weirdo. Yeah, and even Mensho is indirectly involved in um, when La Familia Michoacana and the Millennio Cartel fell out and went to war. He's even indirectly involved there because his cousin, Ines, was seeing the leader of um, of uh, La Familia and she then had an affair with the Millennio Cartel leader um, and yeah it's crazy when you actually research his, uh, his life yeah fuck the hacker fuck the hacker yeah that's a horrible that's a horrible feeling when your bank account's being hacked or like yeah someone's taken money from your account it's horrible it's horrible But thank you. Thank you for your support. <clears throat> no, it's not my job. It's not my job. I work full time. But having YouTube on the side uh, allows me to like um, help my parents out back home, like because they're older, they're not they're not in the best of health. So YouTube kind of helps me out with that. I can help them where I, whereas I couldn't before. So I, I live on my own. I pay all my own bills. Um, and with YouTube on the side, like I can just help my parents out a little bit kind of thing. You know, so that's why it's um that that why that that's why that side of it is quite beneficial for me because be uh, beforehand I couldn't really help my parents out financially in any way, but now I can. So yeah, I'm a single man. I don't need much. You know, I I don't need much. I can get by on the fucking uh, basics. I grew up fucking broke. I don't need much. But yeah, it's nice to help out my parents. Um, he's still appealing, I believe. He's still appealing. But yeah, if you guys could always um get on social media, get on Twitter, and uh, retweet his uh retweet his stuff, talking about it, and try and get the word out there. That's another good point as well, Digital Apple. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly. Take down channels who actually committed crimes like Chris Chan. Say no more. <clears throat> Say no more. But there you go, bro. Well, I wondered that chicken ring, if it maybe it triggered something. Plus, plus the fact I'm faceless. I, I was thinking as well, maybe closing up a video with like a, a recorded um, monologue, whatever. You know, when I end the videos, I could do it like personally with like either the glasses or just fucking mask, whatever. <clears throat> I could do something like that. I always answer this question the very same way, bro. The government. If I had to join a cartel, what cartel would I join? The government. The government. Oh, yeah. Teofimo Lopez is fighting this weekend. He's fighting um, Jermaine Ortiz. That's a good fight. I think Tio wins, but it's a good fight. <clears throat> Great question. What video of yours did you have the most fun making? Um, I still think the very first Lost Media video. I would say that video. But big up again to Jeff. Thank you. No, I didn't get sued. I didn't get sued. My thoughts on the death penalty. Oh, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. Um, If somebody is dead to rights, they're a serial killer, they've killed children, whatever, I'm all for it. But the issue is it's a slippery slope. If you implement the death penalty... There, there are certain cases where it's so cut and dry, where the person is so evil, there's so much evidence. Yeah, fair enough, use the death penalty. 
But once you implement the death penalty, who decides who who is who 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 faces the death penalty and who doesn't? It's a slippery slope. That's the issue. In an ideal world, eye for an eye. Maybe maybe there's something to it, but in reality, putting it into practice is a lot harder. I think you can you can get innocent people. Yeah, I I saw Cold Raven make uh, made a video about it. I heard him mention it. Yeah. I don't look like Mr. Beast, bro. Someone someone said I looked like fucking Jack Sparrow, man. It's like, bro. Salute, Katie. And thank you. Thank you for your all your support as well. Torn cake, big up. Big up to Katie always. Yeah, I, I'm I nerd out, bro. I nerd out over like the cartel backstories and, and whatnot. See you later, Bello. See you later. Yeah, that's another thing about Disturbant. Like, most of his cases I'd never heard of before he covers them. I've heard of a few, but most of those cases he covers I've never heard of. I, I, I hear of them first on his channel. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Deborah. But there's always somebody trying to trying to scam or steal these days. That's one of the um lowest things is 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 stealing, man. Low as fuck. That's a great shout, yeah. They should take into account viewers and comments. Absolutely. And thank you again, Cannonballer. That's way too fucking kind. And the Chill's voice impressions is crazy. I can't do his voice. See, everybody hates on fucking Chills. I I think he's done amazing. Honestly, he's done amazing. And 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 he seems like a nice guy as well. Would be amazing. It'd be amazing to go to Mexico. Well, that'd be a good idea, though, right? To to try and maybe try and get some narco journos on on here. Like um, uh, Juan Grillo follows me on Twitter. He's a narco journo. He's been on like Joe Rogan and whatnot. Maybe I could try and drop him a DM, see if he'd come on for an interview. Just start small by things, you know, with things like that. That could be a good way to get your foot in the door. Sherilyn, thank you. Salute. Yeah, I thought so as well. Uh, Bly's disaster class. I thought so as well, but I would. El Chango Vargas. El Chango is the ape, right, in in, in Spanish? The ape, I want to say, or the gorilla, something like that. Nerve gas. Yeah, Baggage Unclaimed was a great channel, yeah. Yeah, I, I like those ideas. I like that style of content. But I'm a nerd, though. I'm a nerd when it comes to this sort of stuff, so. <laughs> you are handsome, damn it. What am I supposed to say? Here you go, ugly. <laughs> no, I should, I should take it. I should take the compliment, right? I should take the compliment. Dave Reality, big up to getting spooky. One of the Twitch supporters. Big supporter, man. Uh, she's always, yeah, she's always been gunning for, uh, my back as well. So big up to getting spooky. And check her channel out as well, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't quit my day job. Yeah, Mexico. Mexico has one of the highest rates of journalist murder in the world. It's one of the most dangerous places to be a journalist. Particularly if you're like if you're like independent or you work for a small newspaper, like a small local newspaper. They they go through a lot and, and not for much money either. That's a that's a different level of courage. Italian. If you're gonna choose between the two, I'd say Italian over Chinese. I'd say Italian. <laughs> Should I take revenge? Uh no, no, no. My friends do. 
off topic a little, but did you have a nice Christmas and, and New Year? Yeah, it wasn't too bad, Georgina. It wasn't too bad. I just chilled with family, relaxed, didn't do too much, to tell you the truth. But it was nice. It was nice just to chill for a couple of days, not thinking about anything. It was good. It was good. Can't believe Christmas now is over a month ago. It's crazy. It's crazy with, with, with past January already. Uh, have I heard of the cases of Abraham Biggs and Brandon Vadas, two deaths that were live streamed and aren't covered very widely? I've not heard of either. I've not heard of either. So I'd need to look into them. <laughs> You're crazy, JD. You're crazy, man. <laughs> that's it getting spooky that's it no I haven't I haven't showed my parents um, my channel I just say to them like if I ever give my mum money or whatever I just say oh, I've got a couple of side hustles it's not really a lie is it Maurice thank you man thank you Yeah, the T.O. fight's on a Thursday. It's crazy. Jonathan Ramos, another guy who's um, been here for a long time. Been here for a long, long time. I'd like to thank Jonathan as well. Big up to Jonathan every time. Yeah, but the Lost Media video was my favourite video I did. The first one. The very first one. That was my favourite video I ever did. Um, my my favourite cartel video I did? That's a great question. Um, see, honestly, it didn't do all that great, but I I really enjoyed doing doing the El Guero Palma one. And I I also enjoyed the... Um, oh, it's escaped me. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, the uh, El Cholo one as well. Kate Quinn with a uh, super sticker, $20. That's way too kind, Kate. Yeah, Kate's always been been supporting on Twitter. Big up to Kate. And she, Kate actually, Kate runs a Disturbed Reality page on Facebook, um, sharing my videos and whatnot, like building a little community over there. So if you could check it out on Facebook, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Big up to Kate. Uh, salute. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, El Taliban. There was a couple of El Talibans. One worked for the Gulf Cartel, I believe. I know the guy you're talking about, but yeah, the other guy idolized Bin Laden. Yeah, I know. I've heard of that guy, but but yeah, I've not researched him all that much. Yeah, lazy lazy masquerades an OG. He's been doing it phew, ten years. Must be. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Disturb and treats his cases respectfully. He does. Firing squads, man. In America. Crazy. Crazy. I swear somebody was executed by nitrogen not so long ago. I might be wrong. Uh, the YouTube case funder, the YouTube case. They uh, they smacked me with the old demonetization shit, and I appealed it. I won. Thank God. Um, is London as dangerous as they say it is? So it's like anywhere, right? Certain areas, yeah. It's it's getting a bit it's getting a bit booky. It's getting a bit dicey. But um, it's one again. It's like anywhere. If you keep yourself to yourself, you don't stick out like a sore thumb, you'll be okay. It's like most places. But yeah, it, it is getting worse. Knife crime and things like that. And even lower level crimes like, you know, mugging and burglary and shit like that. It's um, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Your old da, what's up? Man City, you're losing. Nice. That's, that's good to hear. We did beat the machine. We beat the machine. Fuck the machine. Nah, it's, uh, you guys are you guys are definitely, I, I believe, the main reason as to why. 
Um, would going on best score get you in trouble with the police? It doesn't exist anymore, best score, but no, if you went on it, it wouldn't. Well, I say that. It depends what country you're from. I believe in New Zealand, watching that sort of content is illegal. Maybe. I could be wrong. In the UK, no, it's not illegal. In the US, it's not illegal. It depends where you're at. Yeah, that's that's an interesting side of it, of the uh, drug trade right now, is the precursor chemicals coming from China, also India, apparently. Um, the precursor chemicals to make fentanyl, yeah. But that's been a thing for a long time in Mexico. There was the guy who worked for... Um, I think it was for the Millennio Cartel. Uh, what was his name? Zhili Zhongang or something like that. He was like a Chinese, a Chinese guy who had... Um, residency in Mexico and he was like a pharmacist and he was uh, having so much uh, so many chemicals shipped over this was like the mid 2000s it's been a thing for a while it's been a thing for a while Worst gore video, uh, Three Guys, One Hammer. For me, in terms of like how they affected me, Three Guys, One Hammer was my first and it stuck with me for so long. By the way, I covered videos on on last Friday's video, which I had to like unlist because YouTube was YouTube were fucking with that as well. I, un I unlisted that video. But yeah, I, I covered three on that one, but they were all super gruesome. I'll try and get away. I might I may upload that on Rumble. Yeah, Corpse Husband, yeah. I remember Corpse Husband. And thank you, Kate. You're way too kind. You're far too kind. Far too kind. A guy having his teeth pulled out with pliers in Africa. Yeah, having your teeth pulled out is one of a because your, your your gums and shit have so much so many nerves, like that must be insane. Yeah, I don't think I could watch that. I'm not gonna lie. I know what I could watch and what I can't watch. I don't think I could watch that. I, I'd struggle to watch that. I think I'd have to if I had to watch it. I'd watch it without the sound. To be honest. Great idea. Yeah, I I thought about doing that, Blake. Uh, cases that were live streamed. I, I have thought about doing it. I have thought about doing it. It's a good idea. I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you think the cartels and the Taliban or ISIS ever get along well since they're involved with the world of drugs and violence? I don't think so. I don't think they're close enough together uh, in regards to the supply chain to really care about each other, if that makes sense. Does a, does a video of a guy with his ear getting cut off being interrogated before being murdered count as gore? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. No worries, French. No worries. And thank you. Thank you for your kind words, bro. Thank you for your kind words. Yeah, there are good true crime channels out there, Nathan. There are. I'm going to probably try and get it up to uh, Rumble, Trey. I'll try and get it up on Rumble. Okay, so they botched the nitrogen execution. Yeah, so I heard about this. I heard they tried to execute somebody with nitrogen. What? The, how do you... How do you execute somebody with nitrogen? What, is it just like um, they suffocate, I guess, right? They, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a suffocation type of execution. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for um, BJJ, <clears throat> but it's not my sort of combat sport. My combat sport is boxing. I have boxed a bit. Muay Thai, I've tried, but I'm not. I wasn't very good at it, to be honest with you. 
But Muay Thai, I've got a lot of respect for. Those guys, those guys are tough as fuck. But boxing is my thing. Boxing is my thing. And thank you, French, for being super sticker. Big up to yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do I think Triple K Mafia, do you, uh, sorry, do you think Comandante Diablo is still alive? Probably not, to be honest. I'd say he died. I'd say he died during the Golfo Zeta War. Because he was um, he was like a lieutenant, like a, a leader of a bunch of Sicarios. He wasn't like a major player, but he just kind of went... His name got out there because of those execution videos back and forth. But I'd say he's dead. I'd say he's dead. Now, this is interesting. Apparently, the lost 9-11 gore footage, lol Superman, was partially found on Vidly. What's your thoughts on it? I've got no idea about this. I've I've had no I've had no um I've not I've not looked into this whether it whether it was partially found. People have said that before and it turned out to be a hoax. So I'd need to look into it. I would need to look into it. But look, bro, honestly, that's that's one of the things though. In regard in regards to lost media, there's no event in the world that has more lost media than 9-11. Convinced. No, nah, no, nah, no, no haircut, no haircut, no haircut. That's why I had the hood up on the hair on the uh, face reveal thing. Because I, I had no haircut. I'm vain. I'm vain like that. I felt the last fade I got, the guy fucked it up a little bit. But yes, sir, streaming during your lunch break. Hopefully you're chilling. Yeah, uh, some American cases we can cover. I still want to look into Soviet cases, like old Soviet serial killers. I'm not really sure whether there's a market for it, but I like doing it, to be honest. No, I don't have any deep web contacts, no. No, I don't. I don't want to mess with that sort of stuff. I've never like been on the deep web or anything. I've always been too scared to go on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, India has a huge backdoor chemicals market, probably because of the big pharma boom in recent decades. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, apparently, the, the, the theory is... He's more than likely in Kalima or in Jalisco, not in like not in Guadalajara, but in the mountains. That's what I've heard. That's that's what a lot of people theorize. He travels between Kalima and Jalisco back and forth in the mountains, kind of thing. That's 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 the theory. Michoacan, possibly in like the Tierra Caliente region, which was near where he was born. Um, but I'd say in regards to safety, more than likely Jalisco or Kalima, if I had to guess, if I had to guess. See, I've not even, I've not seen this. There's been a massive explosion in the capital of Mongolia rather recently, and there have been multiple videos of it, including three firefighters getting crushed by a car. Jesus. Did I miss something? Why are you back in your mask? It's a good shout. I should really just wear the glasses, right? It's a good shout. I don't know. Back to old time's sake. Back to old time's sake. But yeah, I, I will. So <clears throat> I will wear the glass. I will do like face face shit in the future. I will do it. I don't know why I wore the mask. Actually, I can't lie. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, that's a theory anyway, yeah. The Taliban isn't involved in the drug trade, at least not as much as the former Afghan government. Yeah, the government were probably all up in it. Honestly. And quite frankly, I think that's why the US invaded Afghanistan, 
was to take control of that heroin market, the opium market in that region. Um, you know, basically trying to get money for black budget, basically. Similar to Vietnam. Yeah, I covered it on a on a video quite recently. Yeah. I covered it in the five worst gore videos, volume two. That's a bad video. The screams in that video are awful. Because it's in like an apartment block, like in the um in the stairwell. And the screams in that video are terrible. Oh yes. The creepy fox. I'd see you come through. The creepy fox. Gotta thank this guy a lot. He DM'd me. Um, so I said on Twitter what happened. And he DM'd me with advice what to do with the appeal procedure. I literally followed that advice to a T. And here we are. Here we are. So I have to thank the creepy fox for all of his help. If you could um, check him out, follow his channel. I will give you, by the way, bro, I will give you a shout out proper in a video. Um, because, yeah, you, you, you really did help me out. Uh, thank you very much, man. You're, you're an absolute legend. You've already done, you've already done way too much, bro. You've already done way too much, man. You're so fucking uh, kind, man. Big up to yourself. Big up to yourself. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. But yeah, big up to the creepy fox. Way too kind. And Bratty Ratties is here. But yeah, check out the creepy fox, guys. He he really did help me out. What's up, Bratty Ratties? How you doing? Yeah, Cartel Del Noreste, that video is bad. The flaying video. And they have an older one as well from way back in the day. Um, yeah, they, they're, they're terrible. They're terrible. Well, he was beaten. He had his ribs broken. I think his skull was penetrated with a piece of rebar. Um, I, think he was, I think he was electrocuted as well. Yeah, he, he, was, he was tortured for several hours and there was a cartel doctor on hand to keep waking him up when he passed out. Um, this was in the 1980s, obviously. Um, but yeah, Kiki Camarena was sold out, I believe, by his own people. That's what a lot of people believe anyway. And, and the more you look into it, it's definitely plausible. I think he probably knew too much in regards to like corruption. And he seemed like the type of guy who was about business. He was about his job. And he would have let that, he would have spilt, he would have, he would have spilt the beans. So, yeah, Kiki Camarena, his story is actually quite tragic when you actually read about it. Like, you read, like, how he got into the DEA, how he kind of worked his way up, like, as an immigrant in, in the US, getting cit uh, citizenship, you know, really doing something for the country. And then he probably got sold out. It's kind of fucked up. Honestly. Nobody cuts hair better than Americans, bro. Turkish people. Have you been to a Turkish barber's? Turkish people, man. Big up to the Turkish. And thank you, Bratty Ratty. Bratty Ratties, sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, do I have a smell? What do you mean? <laughs> do I have a smell? Virgin YouTube chat versus Chad Twitch chat. Yeah, Twitch is good. Fun. Twitch is. I'm actually kind of genuinely surprised we haven't been banned from Twitch because we talk about all types of crazy shit over there. By the way, guys, my Twitch is in in the comments now. If you want to follow it, just for uh, we we have a laugh on Twitch. Thank you, Calypso. Thank you. Thank you. Big up to Calypso. You are way too kind. You're you are way too flattering, uh, Kate. Way too flattering. But I, I appreciate the comments.
Nah. I don't want to get fucking viruses, bro. I don't want to get viruses. I... This is going to sound like cap. I appreciate it's going to sound like cap. I think I'd be more comfortable interviewing a cartel member than I would, like, exploring the deep web. That that may sound like cap. But I promise you, it's true. There's something about getting hacked and, like, having your life taken over that terrifies me. Honestly, Mike, it's a good question. I hope you're well, man. Who, in your opinion, in the anti-establishment scene are genuine? Zuby, for example, comes across as a real one, but Tate is controlled opposition. Um, I've totally lost interest in it, bro. Uh, Ryan Dawson, I would say, a guy called Ryan Dawson. He does good. He does good. Um, good research into various things like nine eleven, Epstein, etc. Maybe Ryan Dawson. Ryan Dawson is pretty good. Give him a follow. And Creepy Fox again. Thank you very much, man. Way too kind. Way too kind. Um, had Pablo Escobar never got killed, do you believe he would still be alive today, especially with a, with a rise of social media? Do you believe he would be treated as a god in the narco world, more than El Mencho? I think, I think the, right, the writing was always on the wall for um, Escobar. Um, because the uh, the routes to uh, uh, tra uh, trafficking the cocaine to Florida were closing, they were getting wise to it. I think eventually Escobar would have would would have had to always go through Mexico, eventually, if he survived. I think he would have al always had to go through Mexico in the end. Exactly, Grant, yeah. Any, any of you guys on Twitter, follow Disturban and retweet his stuff talking about this. <clears throat> Do I believe that the war on drugs and the war on terror were, were massive failures? And was the war or were the wars about money and mass surveillance? I certainly, the war on terror certainly helped with surveillance, mass surveillance. You look at America, like the Patriot Act, for example. Yeah. Listen, it's like anything. Um, Winston Churchill said it. Don't let a good crisis go to waste. Because they'll always, they'll always implement some things on the, on the back of crises. Or, um, or, or they'll try and sell something on the guise of safety. But you end up losing rights or losing freedom. That's what that's that's the way it's always been. That's the way it's always been. Indeed, yeah. Uh, we don't get constitutional rights though in the UK, man. Unfortunately, Calypso, thank you for the sick, uh, super uh, super sticker. Can't fucking talk. Can't fucking talk. Thank you very much. Way too kind. Way too fucking kind. Yeah, that's what I should do. That's what I should do is is get plastic surgery now, right? Worst video is Free Guys One Hammer. That's that's the that's the video that's affected me the most. Is Free Guys One Hammer. Yeah. I think the Taliban have stopped uh, something like 80% of the heroin fields in Afghanistan which is why there are more synthetic drugs being made. That's a good theory. That is a good theory about uh, the rise in synthetic drugs, but they, they, they are a lot more powerful as well, the synthetics. I think they'd have always, they'll always be a thing now, but that's a good point. It's a good point. Okay. I have a, sorry, I have a video idea. Deaths of heads of states that were filmed. Examples, Samuel Doe, Anwar Sadat, Mohammed Boudiaf. However, most of them aren't gory. So I'm not sure where it would fit your channel. Well, I've always wanted to, I've always wanted to do a video on uh, Colonel Gaddafi. I've always wanted to do a video on Gaddafi, but we'll see. 
Samuel Doe could happen. I've, I've been asked about that case before as well. Don't worry about it strictly, man. It's all good. You're here. That's the main thing. Just comment and have fun, bro. That's the main thing. Thanks for covering what you do. As a Bra sorry, as a Brazilian who also lived in Mexico, Michoacan, I'm grateful for the attention and respect you bring with your videos. Much love. Well, thank you, Jess. Thank you. And yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you're good, man. Hopefully you're you're, you're safe. Yeah, it's, it's 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 very nice of you, Creepy Fox. Very nice of you, man. Because this community, as you know, I'm sure, it does get a bad reputation at times. But yeah, it's, it's good to see there are there are nice people out there. And yeah, I, I'm really grateful for your help. Big up Isaac, salute. Maintain the mystery. Yeah, I I didn't think the last video counted as a face reveal. Not quite. It was a one three quarters face reveal. A three quarters face reveal. I would say. Murder Hornet, what's up, bro? I've done it to be fair, uh, Cody. I've done quite a few videos on Zeppers versus the Golfos. The missing forty-three is. Such a complex case. It's such a complex case. We may tackle it. We may tackle it. I'll tell you what is coming up, though. The 2010 San Fernando Massacre, the 2011 San Fernando Massacre. We'll do a video where we talk about the worst Zeta atrocities caught on camera. Possibly one more Zeta video. I want to do a Zeta week. I want to do all of these videos in one week. Ideally. So it's going to be three or four videos. It's going to be three or four videos. I would say he is still alive, El Mencho. I would say he's still alive. I am sponsored by Adidas. No, I'm not. I wish I was. I wish I was. Thank you, Stephanie. Again, way too kind. Way too kind. Um, have you seen the cartel hitman interview by the Ar by Arab guy? He talked about how he has politician uh, politician support. I feel like the cartels only exist because governments allow them to. Yeah, I, there yeah there is definitely truth to that. There is definitely truth to that. Yeah, there's a video where El Mencho supposedly made threats to a TV journalist. Yeah, apparently it wasn't him in the video. But apparently, I have heard this rumour going around. It's been going around for many years. We know there's that the phone call with El Mencho uh, threatening the police chief or whatever, police officer. Apparently, there's another video of El Mencho threatening captives. Apparently, there's like three or four captives. And El Mencho is the guy like interrogating them. Obviously, all covered up. But that's been a rumour that's been around for a long, long time. I think I may have found the video, but I don't think it's Mencho. I, I don't think it's Mencho, to be honest. It sounds diff it, he sounds different to the phone call. No, I haven't. Have you seen the video of a woman getting attacked with acid? I think it was in the UK. I've heard of that case. There was that guy recently who committed an acid attack. I never knew it was on video, though. I never knew it was on video. Angels Tomatoes, haven't watched in a while, so I'm a bit out of a loop. But good to see you. You'll be sticking around and beat the demonetization. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm yeah, it's I'm glad I'm glad it's out of the way now. I'm glad it's done. I'm glad it's done. I'm glad it's out of the way. I'm glad I got it sorted. <laughs> uh, Tune Chi. 
My girlfriend loves your voice and that's a very disturbing reality. Still love the channel though. Continue striving, bro. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, subscribe to Creepy Fox, man. He was so helpful. Like we had no correspondence before this. And out of nowhere, he comes and just helps me like totally off his own back. So if 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 people here could support him, that would be amazing. And I, I've actually, because I I've I've subbed to him as well. He's got amazing, he's got amazing content. So I like that's the sort of content I like listening to, like before I go to bed, like for like for the last hour when I'm awake. Give us a good old bottle of water. No, Funky Town's never going to get solved. That mystery is never going to get solved, unfortunately. But it's like, it, it's that's, that's what happens with most of these cartel videos. It's very rare we get any type of answers surrounding these videos. That's the sad thing. They're literally on camera. And we don't usually get answers. We don't usually get convictions. Though the... Uh, the case of the five students in Jalisco who got murdered. There were guys who got arrested in, in connection with that case. And I actually mentioned that video in my... Um, no, I didn't. I was, I was going to mention that video in my appeal, but I didn't in the end. Yeah, yeah, all of these videos I cover, every single one is surface web. Way too easy to find. Yeah, so that was on my last video. Um, so the Brazil video. I found a really obscure video from Brazil that I'd never seen. Well, I say I found it. Somebody sent me it. And it was a few years old. And basically, there's like a guy in the woods... It's a gang crime. And they beat the guy with like a two by four. Um, they then cut his fingers off. They then cut his ear off. And then they take the two by four and smash the man repeatedly in the face until his face is caved in. And the top of his skull is split and you see his brain. But you still hear him breathing like the blood, like you see the blood flowing out his mouth. It's fucking horrible. But unfortunately, I can't. Uh, it got it got insta age restricted. I had a I actually had a problem with a video as well, so I had to take it down. Um, so I may put that on Rumble. I may I may put it on Rumble, but it was messed up. And also, if you yeah, and also you're talking about as well the guys in Russia, the Academy maniacs. But yeah, I compared that video from Brazil to Three Guys One Hammer because the visuals were the same. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, the Zetas really changed the game in that sense, in regards to the levels of brutality that they they brought to the game. They ha it hadn't really been seen before. But they were paramilitary, right? They were. They they were mil well, they were military. They had those expertise. They they fought in like guerrilla warfare. Many of these guys, the original Zetas, they understood. They understood like um, psychological warfare, and they brought that to the game. And obviously, everybody followed suit. So the Zetas were the trendsetters. They kind of ushered in the new era of uh, of cartels, so to speak. Did I know back in the day that treadmill, treadmill, treadmills, do you mean, used to be punishments for prisoners? Doesn't sound that bad. Yeah. Yeah, that, that video, those videos were messed up.
I'd say give it time for Gaddafi. Disturban made a video about him on his second channel. Yeah, I will do this. That's something like for the future. But the thing is, if I talk about Gaddafi, I'll talk about I will talk about um like the illegal how how his how his um death was obviously um set up by the West and how ultimately it was un unjust and we destroyed Libya. The West destroyed Libya. Um, you know, all, for a while, Libya was all in the news about this tyrannical guy, Colonel Gaddafi. As soon as he dies, nobody talks about Libya again, but Libya gets far worse, far, far more violence, poverty gets worse. You know, but people forget it's, that it's on to the next thing, isn't it? That's the issue with today's society. TV, TV man tells them that Colonel Gaddafi is this uh, evil guy, which I'm not saying he was good, by the way. But objectively, Libya is far worse without him. Far worse. But nobody talks about that now because it's on to the next thing all the time. It's always on to the next thing uh, in this society now. It's crazy. It's crazy. But there you go. Man City level now. I went back and forth as a kid. I had PS1, PS2, Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One. I sold both and I've never had a console since. Never had a console since. Yeah, I was I was rocking that Unabomber vibe, Ted Kaczynski. Yeah, I, I think Vizetta's... So ideally, so we've got two recorded, which are the two San Fernando massacres, 2010-2011. The third video would be worst Zeta atrocities caught on camera. And if I do a fourth, that might be that that may be like the Miguel Trevino biographic, maybe. I don't know, Uma. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think a lot of it is scaremongering. Personally, I, I I hope it's just I hope it's just scaremongering. Celestial penguin, I like that name. Good to see I'm up and running again. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, El Mencho should remember that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Maybe El Mencho knows what I look like now. Uh, thank you, Zachary. Thank you. I love your videos, Disturbed. Keep doing what you do. Uh, keep doing what you do. Well, thank you, man. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. Yeah, the phone call of, of Mencho sounds totally different uh, from the message sent to the journalist. Yeah, the journalist one isn't him. It's not him. This is my first time seeing you. I'm trying to understand what you're about. I'm sorry for not finding you sooner because I'm really interested in following you. Well, thank you, uh, Connie. Thank you very much. And don't don't apologize, by the way. Don't apologize. See you later, Bratty Ratties. Have a great one. Have a great one, and have a uh, have a safe drive. Thank you, Big Bad. Yeah, we'll do. I'll get back on it. I just need to... We'll do this stream today. I'm going to try and relax while I do this and tomorrow back to the grind, I guess. Yeah, I've been to a few Premier League games, uh, mainly Man United games. I've seen West Ham as well. I've seen Tottenham. Yeah, I've seen a few games. Uh, one video that's jolted you to your core. I'll always say the same thing, three guys, one hammer. But um, also there's videos like Miss Pac-Man, which got to me, Funky Town, obviously. Ghost Rider is up there for me as well in regards to cartel videos. One of the, one of the more unknown cartel videos that nobody talks about, but it, but is terrible, is the uh, CJNG dismemberment video where they cut the guy's legs off, beat him with his own legs, then cut his arms off. 
all while he's alive. That's a terrible video as well. Hans is doing a face reveal now as well. We're all doing face reveals out here. Big up to Hans Aria. Thank, thank you for your face reveal, bro. Big up to Hans. He's another longtime supporter as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's um, the Zacatecas playing Year of the Cat. The Zacatecas playing, yep. I'm living inside your walls. So that's the sound I can hear at night. Okay. Could Mexican brutality be linked to their Aztec past? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't really believe in that per se. I think I think most groups of people can can commit violence under the right circumstances, under the right conditions. That's what I believe. I mean, look at war, for example, right? Look at Vietnam. Some of the soldiers going over to Vietnam were like American kids from middle class families, white picket fence, never really had any worries. Then they're called up via the draft, have to go to war. Uh, however long training camp is, what is it? What was it back then? A couple of months, whatever it was, I don't know. Straight over to Vietnam. And listen, how, how quickly does it take those guys to then start committing atrocities? Not long. Under the right circumstances, I think most people can commit horrific acts of violence. Personally, that's what I, that's what I believe. Yeah, I'd talk to, I would talk to OG Shadow, yeah. I, I would talk to Shadow. I mean, it's got to get better eventually, right? Nothing, I always say, nothing remains the same. Like, life is secular, right, I guess. Nothing's going to remain the same. I mean, decades and decades ago, people would have never thought life would get better in Colombia, but it did. It's still not perfect, but it got better. And I think the same can be said for Mexico. Look at El Salvador, by the way, with Naib uh, Bukele. He, he's, he's shut crime down in El Salvador. People are moving to El Salvador now. The economy's now booming out there. Tourists are going there. El Salvador is, has had a ch cra crazy change in the last few years. So anything's possible. Anything's possible. That sort of approach in Mexico would be a lot harder to pull off, though. He's basically just went full out, full out war with um, the gangs in, El, gangs in El Salvador, but that would be harder to pull off in Mexico because Mexico is a much bigger country, obviously, much, many more people, more gangs, better armed gangs as well. It'd be a lot harder in Mexico, but there's always a way. Louisiana boys, salute to, uh, to you and all of your work you do on this channel. You are very, very strong mentally for watching and relating to all the bad situations. I pray you stay strong mentally and physically. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. Chalk up another dub. Yeah, man. It feels like it. It feels like it. Yeah, I don't know. I think I told you at the start of the stream, but I fucking bit my tongue and it fucking hurts. It, it sounds like I slur through this mic because it's got like a little bit of plastic that catches my lip. And now with a fucking, uh, now, now with me biting my tongue, I sound like an idiot. I've never had dip tobacco, no. Yeah, there is. There is a video of Saddam's hanging. Yeah, there is. Yeah. They are set up to fail, though. There's no aftercare when, when, when these countries are invaded or when, or when a so-called dictator is ousted. There's no rebuilding process. What's up, Pritch? How you doing? 
yeah, 100% right on the just get rid of bad guy and everything will be fine mentality. Exit strategies just don't exist anymore. It's really sad, yeah. And I think that that's a further problem, though. I feel like a lot of people in this world now, they purely they, they purely view the world through good guy versus bad guy lens. They watch too many superhero movies. Life's not, it's not just, life, life is rarely that simple. Life is rarely that simple where it's about good, good, like good guy versus bad guy. Like they, they, they believe it's like some sort of fucking Marvel movie. It's crazy. It's crazy, but it is what it is. Robbie, big up. Yeah, Xbox 360 was, was the shit, man. That was my favorite console. Xbox 360. Best console out. Amazing console. There is, yeah, there is, there is, there is, there is. Yeah, I've seen that video. I've seen that video. I don't know, I'm just more comfortable with it. I'm still not, like, used to, like, you know, on cam. But maybe I'll, maybe going forward, I'll just wear the glasses. Because I want to talk to people on this channel. I want to do interviews. So maybe we, uh, we'll, we'll rock the glasses and hood look. I think that's what we'll do. Because I want to start doing interviews. I want to do more with it. I want to reach out to people, like uh, reach out to journalists, narco journalists. Yeah, apparently the word is around here is Mencho died, but I think it's a strategy to fool the ops. Yeah, so do I. I think it's just to muddy the waters, bro. Like even that story of him having, um, of, of him being on dialysis. I mean, that's not, it's never been like officially confirmed, has it? I think it may have been mentioned in the um, Guacamaya leaks, but I don't know. Yeah, Arsenal could win it. I'd still make Man City as favourites. Um, so this video was from several years ago. And by the way, it's not it's not out of the realms of possibility. There's a video of El Chapo interrogating a captured Zeta. Not many people know that. It's quite hard to find, but it exists. Or it used to exist. It's it's not that out of the realms of possibility. Now Mencho knows what you look like with shades on. If you went to Mexico, would you sit down and have a bottle of Corona and a line with him? I wouldn't have a line, but I'd like to talk to him. I'd like to talk to him. Yeah, I've done a couple. I've done a couple. May may do one more. We may we may do one more. The uh, the ama the amazing powered powdered toast man. That's a weird name. <clears throat> How do you know uh, you have a high sperm count? Your wife has to chew after a BJ. Lovely, lovely. I'll try and put it on Rumble. I had a lot of trouble with it. I had a lot of trouble with it. I'll try and put it on Rumble. Big up Seagar, one of the boxing guys. Salute. And Sarah, big up as well. Uh, so, so glad you'll be staying. I do listen to all of your graphic videos, but your voice always keeps me calm. I know I could do violence if somebody did something to my kids. Yeah, there's always a circumstance. There's always a circumstance where somebody could could commit violence. We all have it. Well, most of us have it. What's up, Cher? Ellis Redneck. 
Uh, have you heard about the Spanish, Mexican or Spanish YouTuber that got cancelled? For a yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've heard of that. Yeah. I forgot his name already. Burnt something. Burnt show. Yeah, I've heard I've heard of that. I heard Cold Raven talking about it. <laughs> we we do have some degenerates. We do have some degenerates, but we we everyone's welcome here. Everybody's welcome here. Um I'd have to check. I'd have to check. You yeah, I think my my American audience is larger last time I checked. Quite a sizable chunk in Australia. Weirdly um like the Philippines is quite a big little chunk as well, believe it or not. I've not seen it yet. I, I've 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 heard a lot about this series. I need to watch it. I need to watch it. Have you seen the ISIS crucifixion video? They crucified the cruci bleh, crucified the guy and lit him on fire. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Did you find a way to pursue your work on YouTube? What do you mean, Cliff? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. What do you mean? I I, I won the appeal with uh, the demonetization, but I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, it's not that comfortable, Rexary. It's not that comfortable. Can't lie. It's not that comfortable. That's another thing, Radzi. Yeah, YouTube are a bunch of clowns these days. I've seen at least five uncensored Ronnie McNutt videos untouched for a long time. While honest YouTubers, like, you get punished for nothing. Yeah, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Yeah, ultimately, though, I get I get people's point. But, like, if I want to go to Mexico, I'd show my face, right? I can't go around with a mask. I might I might get mistaken for a fucking Sicario. Do I like DIY a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit? A little bit. JG, thank you, man. Glad you beat the case, dude. Looking forward to more depressing yet, uh, depressing yet intriguing content. Well, thank you, man. Big up to yourself. Thank you for the support, bro. Definitely not pre-recorded, my G. Definitely not. See you later, angels. Yeah. The only uh, two videos I haven't seen that I've talked about is um, One Bitch Nine Pups. I haven't seen that. Well, that's multiple videos, but I haven't seen them. And I haven't seen the Richard Carrillo videos or video. That'd be only two. I think the original best score was the worst shock site, surely. I still like the mystery, but now we've seen seen a little. I want to see the rest. Yeah, the glasses was like a three quarters face reveal. Yeah, it's a good shout. I, I, do you know the thing, Lance? For me, I know I know people enjoy them, but. I feel like sometimes they can come across a little hokey when you when you do like um seasonal videos. Maybe that's just me being a miserable bastard. It could be that. But I maybe maybe we could do we should do something for Halloween really, I think. You're probably right. You're probably right. Nevertheless. I ain't gonna do it. I can't my, my tongue hurts. I can't say nevertheless. I just try to um, pursue the other hobbies that I have, like the other in the other interests that I have. 
you know, I, again, I've got a lot to take my mind off stuff. I work full time. Uh, I've got family, I've got friends, I've got other interests, like I said. There's a lot to keep me occupied. I think this sort of content is very, very dangerous if you don't have much to keep you occupied, especially like if you're like stuck in your room all day, you don't like, you don't do anything. I think then this content could become very dangerous for a lot of people. There's definitely um there's definitely that factor, but there are some there are some pretty good creative people on YouTube. I'm I'm not the most creative person. I'm more of a I'm more of a research heavy person. That's what I enjoy. And they're my favorite videos to make, the ones where I talk about what the cartels are doing in what areas, the latest goings on. That's what I like doing personally, but no, I get your point. I get your point. Yeah. There's free uncensored versions of your Quero Agua on, on YouTube. Yes, crazy. Surprise Funky Town hasn't made its way there yet. Yeah, I, I never even the weird thing was about these catchphrases, the nevertheless thing was um some like people when I first started. They just said I said it a lot, nevertheless, because I say it a lot in real life. And then it became like a thing in the videos. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm not sure how I came up with it or or, or like how it came about, I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of cake, I can't lie. I'm not a big fan of like chocolate cake i like um i like cheesecake better i'm a, I'm a cheesecake type of guy speaking of pre-recorded stream there is some youtuber in the uk who murdered his girlfriend while using a pre-recorded live stream as an alibi that's crazy why have i not heard of that that's insane I'm going to have to, like, screen cap that comment. One second. Hang on, one sec. That might be worth looking into. That's crazy. Is that, uh, is that actually real? That can't be real. Surely. Saved it. That's insane. Cheesecake. I, I'm I'm taking neither. I'm taking a cheesecake. There's a song that has the skinned face as a, as their song cover here on YouTube. That doesn't that doesn't surprise me. A lot of these artists are a little edge. They're, they're a little edgy to say the least. There's one song that has the um Chech clear sound. You know when he gets uh, his throat cut. That's in a song. I forget what song it is, but that's in a, that's in a, a song. Cyprian, what's up? Big up to yourself. If you're talking cartel, yeah, the Zacatecas flaying is up there. Ghost Rider's up there. Like I said, the CJMG dismemberment videos. We know the, the main ones. We know the main ones. I'm trying to think of like more unknown ones that go under the radar. There's the Zeta one. I think I think it's the old school Zetas where the guy is like in the forest. He's in his pants and they cut his legs off with like an axe. That's that's pretty terrible as well. But all of the bro, all of these cartel videos are terrible. And thank you, Raphael, man. You're a legend. Thank you very much. Disturbed is secretly our men's show. Yeah, that's why they uh that's why they reinstated me quickly. 
Lufo, another long time supporter. Big up to Lufo. Yeah, the thing with Twitch, I just need to find new games to play, honestly. That's what it is on Twitch. I need to find new games to play. Maybe we need to do some single-player horror games. That could be a good idea. That could be a good idea. Do some single-player horror games. By the way, guys, there is... Oh, no, that's not my Twitch. Fuck. Nearly, I nearly sent you something completely different then. Whoops. Nothing bad or anything like that, but... One second. Okay. There's my Twitch. Yeah, my name is Liam. Yeah. What happens in the actual video? I can't. I can't do my voice at the minute. Like my, you know, the what happens in the actual video because my my tongue hurts. Yeah, we beat the case, bro, Ibrahim. We beat the case. So, yeah, I mean, I, I was going to continue anyway, but I'd have had to have changed things up, to be honest. I'd have, I'd have had to have changed things up. Uh, changed things up. Okay, they caught him. Yeah, I, I've not heard of that case. Okay. The streamer's alibi is named Stephen McCulloch. Okay, cool. Let me copy this as well. That could be a good case to look at. I've never heard of this case. And it happened in the UK. Jesus Christ. That's super fucked up. It's kind of a dumb alibi though, right? Okay, they caught the guy. Okay. They solved it. Okay. I'll definitely have to look into it, though, because I've never heard of that case, and it seems intriguing. Yeah, I had a little trouble with YouTube, uh, Lutzi Fair. I may put it up on Rumble. I don't know yet. I may put it up on Rumble. Do I believe that the Illuminati controls the world and our governments are just puppets to the secret elite and they're the ones pulling the strings behind the scenes? What do you think on this? Um, I don't believe that like the Illuminati exists as it's told in like popular culture. I believe that's more than likely a psyop. Are politicians bought and paid for by large conglomerates and like, like the pharmaceutical industry, the fuel industry, this, that, and the third. Yeah, I do. They're, they're all bought and paid for. Um, they have their own paymasters, uh, and that affects their uh, governance of uh, of us citizens. So I don't believe in the Illuminati like that, but yeah, I believe these guys are bought and paid for. I believe these guys also have agendas that, um, you know, yeah, that's, that's as far as I'll take it. <laughs> that's as far as I'll take it. What's up, person crusher? El Siri's death is bad as well, yeah. El Siri's death where they cut all of his skin off his chest. Yeah, that's a bad one as well. Yeah, the legs would be axed. That's for one, yeah. Pitbull video is bad as well. I know people say, well, the guy was an R-wordist. We don't know that, you know. Um, ultimately, nobody knows that. There's, there's no... Uh, there's no proof that was the case. And as we know, cartels use propaganda. That's what some of these gore videos are about, like propaganda. So we don't know who that guy was. Maybe he was an R-wordist, but we don't know. That's um, that's what I would say. But a lot of people kind of uh, assume he just was. Just because it says it in a video title on like best gore. But that's the nature of... Uh, that's the nature of um, gore videos, I guess, right? Yeah, we need a Soma live stream at some point. We will do one at some point. 
Is Soma any good? I've never played it. I've never played it. Cry of fear, maybe, maybe cry of fear. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, I was, uh, I was wondering whether we would. You're in Liam mode right now. Laugh out loud. Hey, just got here. Polish is on my mum's side, Mike Torino. Why is, why is your name not Polish? Uh, yeah, so YouTube uh, kind of hit me with the old demonetization, uh, Pavic, but I appealed it and I won. We got the dub over YouTube. Now, Julian, I appreciate that, bro. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Is that a cartel video? Amazing powdered toast, man. I think I may I may know that video. I may know that video. Okay, I'll check this case out. So the YouTuber was only caught because he got cocky and bragged about what he did in a subtle way about murdering his own wife and used the stream as an alibi. He was caught for a film poster. Jesus Christ. What, an, what a fucking psycho. I'll have to check that out. We'll have to check that out. Well, thank you, Andre. My vid your, your videos make me feel grateful about my life because I didn't ex actually experience true evilness of the world compared to the people killed in the videos. Yeah, no matter how bad we have it, it does make you kind of um, appreciate what you do have, the comforts that you do have kind of thing. That definitely does does play a factor for a lot of people. Name one horror game franchise that should have never been as popular in the first place or reached the heights that it reached. I'm going to say Outlast. I loved Outlast 1. But the rest of like Outlast Two, I tried to get into. I didn't. I didn't like it. Outlast Trials looks terrible. I'm gonna say Outlast. I'm gonna say Outlast. Show your head and hairs. <laughs> what head? Top five gore for beginners. Now nah, that wouldn't go down well. That wouldn't go down well. Uh, can a captured individual be mistaken for another Takario and be let go? Or will they dispose of you no matter what? Like also, what if you don't speak Spanish? I mean, I guess it depends on the person you're caught by, right? Yeah, Sicarios have let people go. I mean, if you believe the stories, Mencho got let go by uh, Chango Vargas. He was supposedly captured when he was when he was like a Sicario. So yeah, people get let go. People get let go. But again, it, it depends on who who who's caught you, I guess. Root gone wild. Love your content. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. You should play a gauntlet of horror flash games. Oh yeah, King Charles apparently was diagnosed with cancer. I'm not a royalist, so I'm not like I don't follow it at all. I don't I don't follow it, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of uh the royal family. Yeah, that, that video gets mentioned quite a lot, yeah.
oh, I think I may know what you're talking about. I think it may be fake. I think I may know the video you're talking about. I think it may be fake. Was she shot with a revolver? Like, head on kind of thing. I, that's fake. If, that, if that's the video I'm, you're talking about. Um, it's not really been confirmed. So I have a question. The video um, with a man who was beheaded and then his son was killed and had killed and had his heart cut out. Was that guy actually a cop? I heard that he wasn't involved at all and was innocent. Yeah, again, this is another thing. It's not been confirmed that he was a cop. Um, I think people may have got that impression because uh, he was likely a member of Guardia Guaranese for Guerrero Guards, who are like a self-defense group or who were, they branded themselves as a self-defense group. Um, so maybe they got, maybe that's how they confused them with cops. But yeah, the, the dad being a cop hasn't been confirmed, hasn't been confirmed. Hasn't been confirmed. But again, it's it's just because it's said in the gore title, people run with it, you know? Guilty Pleasure Movie. Um... Honestly, Trains, Planes and Automobiles is my guilty pleasure movie. I love that movie. Especially Wintertime. I love that movie. Song, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about songs. I'd have to really think about that. But movie, Planes, Trains and Automobiles. No doubt. Love that movie. John Candy. Bro, John Candy was amazing. Amazing actor. One of my, that's actually one of my favourite movies. I can't lie. Run the gauntlet, yeah. I know what it is. I know what it is. Is that worth a video? Run the gauntlet? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Is run the gauntlet worth a video? I've been asked about it. But I don't know. Don't know whether it's worth a video. We may, we may do it. Last movie that I watched in the cinema. I watched two back to back. It was that war movie. I think it was called 1914. And The Gentleman. The Guy Ritchie movie. They're the last two movies I saw in cinema. And Bad Boys. The newest Bad Boys. I, we know I watched three movies that day in the cinema. I believe snuff is real. I believe snuff is real as well. I'm going to roll a cigarette quick, guys, and have a glass of water. Have a sip of water. But I believe snuff is real. <clears throat> but I believe snuff, more than likely, is... Um, is recorded on physical media kind of thing. They're, listen, when, when people say, oh, snuff, snuff doesn't exist, it's never been found. Yeah, it's not officially been confirmed, but there's there's been certain cases, one in Belgium in particular, if you know, you know, where the police said they, they found tapes or, or, or whistleblowers said they found tapes. Um... But that's, the, that's a rabbit hole job, that is. I'm not going to lie, my tongue hurts so much. I bit my tongue and it hurts so much. Lucasade's goat, love Lucasaid. I've not heard anything yet, but... 
I sent him my appeal video, so he's got an example. Um, I'm fingers crossed for him. Thank you, Katie, and have a good sleep. Have a good sleep. And hopefully, hopefully you feel better. I'm not a big fan of death metal, sir, drama. I'm not a big fan. Sintaz, what's up, bro? I'll get the cam back on in a minute. I'm just uh, having a cigarette. No, we, we beat the case, bro. We beat it. We beat it. Yeah, I like Harlem Knights. Have you seen the Alten Oya case that I suggested to you last time? Is that the, is that the uh, Oya ugh, oil explosion, gas explosion? Let me know. Oh yeah, bro, that's crazy. Yeah, the guy who fell ass first on a bollard post, yeah. So a massive bollard went up his ass, basically, yeah. Uh, did it kill him or did he did he survive? He had to have died, surely. I don't know I don't know whether whether they've changed uh, run the gauntlet whether they've changed it up or whether it's still the same as it's always been. We may do it. We may do it. Yeah, that's a nasty case as well. Both, those, um, the people who did it were both 16, I believe, as well. 16 years old. Like, imagine being capable of such a murder like a frenzied murder at 16 years old. Yeah, smoking's not going to help it, that's true. It's not going to help it, you're right. You are very right. Pet uh, is a habit though, isn't it, man? Sorry, one sec. So the Belgium case uh, is... Um, sorry, where is it? I saw the guy's comment and I can't see it now. Oh, it's right above me. Uh, so the Belgium case I mentioned in relation to snuff was a guy called Mark de True. So M-A-R-C-D-U-T-R-O-U-X. That case is... That's a rabbit hole case. That's a rabbit hole case. One of those I can't cover on YouTube if I want to go to it, go into it in depth. But some of you guys here probably know of that case. And you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> yeah, Ricardo... I can't talk. My tongue is fucked. Ricardo Lopez will happen. Ricardo Lopez will happen. Yeah, next level gore biting your tongue. Yeah, facts. But nevertheless... What happened to the actual tongue? Ah, I mean, I'm sure some of these Sicarios must have a conscience, right? It must haunt some of these guys, what they've done. It has to, it has to. Some of these guys are so far gone where it doesn't, I'd imagine. But... Some of these guys, it must haunt them. Have you heard the guy actually on YouTube? Uh, uh, what's his name? Ali Gonzalez or Ali Gonzalez? Uh, he, he's got some really good interviews. 
Uh, he was like a a hitman who worked for, I think he worked for La Familia Michoacana and maybe the Sinaloa cartel. Uh, he's got some good interviews, actually. And you can see in that guy's eyes, you can just see in that guy's eyes, he lives with that. It's like you see a guy trying to make amends, but I think deep down he knows he can't or he feels he can't. That's what it appears to me. It's all in the eyes. What The eyes, Chico, they never lie and all that. Sir Drama, what's up? And thank you, Darth. Darth Spartacus, thank you very much. Um, you cover a very difficult subject very well and very maturely for a young whippersnapper. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you for your kind words. How did I come up with my name? Um, don't even know at this point, bro. It just came to me, I guess. It just came to me. Yeah, I saw it on Twitter, bro. It's horrible. I saw it on Twitter. Oh, no, you did. You did tell me about this. Yeah, no, I haven't. It's on my list still. It's on my list still. Because you you what, you what? live in Mongolia, right? Was you the person who, who, who was living in Mongolia? I wouldn't go that far. Don't smoke, guys. Don't smoke. Run the Gauntlet is like an online challenge where there's like multiple gore videos you have to watch from really mild to really bad, basically is what it is. We're back. We're back. Yeah, it's super common, especially in 2023, 2024. Okay, yeah, you are the guy. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, we can we can look at that for the worst accidents. Yeah, we can look at it. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ali was on Lad Bible. Great interview. Yeah, you can see in his eyes. You can see in his eyes he's still living with what he done. But you can see he's he's fighting the good fight. I feel he comes across genuine. Like you can see the killer in his eyes, but I feel like um. I feel like he's trying to make amends for the best he can, kind of thing. I think he lives in the UK now as well. I swear that guy lives in the UK. I could be wrong. I might I might be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm sure he lives in the UK. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, the hardest case I've covered on the channel, aside from Free Guys One Hammer, which is the one that affected me most, like when I was a kid when I first watched it, Miss Pac-Man is up there. The murder, the murders of the five Mexican students uh, in Jalisco is up there. There's a few, there's a, there's a fair few that have been hard to cover. Yeah, um, what was, what was that guy's name? Popo, right? The Escobar hitman, yeah. Thank you, uh, Tuomas, thank you very much. And big ups to Finland. Rex Harry is also from Finland, by the way. 
there was a case here where a woman was beheaded in a park by her ex. Jesus Christ. Uh, the guy, uh, Ali Gonzalez. So A-L-I Gonzalez. And he doesn't seem like a... He doesn't seem like a bullshitter either. Like, he's very convincing. He's very convincing. Yes, sir. By product. Yes, sir. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yep. I know what you're saying. We are definitely coddled. Yeah, we are definitely coddled. That may change rather soon the way the world's going. We shall see. We shall see. They run everything, right? They probably run YouTube, BlackRock. I like cats. I can't lie. I like cats. How much of a YouTube live chat do you remember? after ending a stream. What do you mean? Like, do you mean individuals? I've got to know quite a few people on, on the stream. Edward, what's up, man? Yeah, Popeye, yeah. P Popeye, that's it, not Popo. Popeye, yeah. Yeah, he was there. As re yeah, Ali was there as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that guy, <clears throat> yeah, he's genuine. <clears throat> Or he seems genuine anyway. <clears throat> First school video I watched on the internet was back in 2005, where they showed this tourist being attacked by a lion in front of every other tourist. I think I know the video you're talking about. Was that on, like, Traces of Death? Maybe. <clears throat> Because I was always trying to ascertain whether that was real or not. I know what you're... It's, it's old footage. It's very old footage. But yeah, I know, you, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I mean... Uh, sorry, I mean it's a good thing to be coddled. I know I wouldn't rather be living the life of a lot of people who uh, are forced to live. No, that's, that's very true. Uh, Bly's disaster class, but I think there's a there's such a thing as there's such a thing as being too comfortable and too coddled, right? <laughs> show, show us that sexy mustache of yours again. Big up to Maestro, by the way, part of the Twitch gang. Salute. What's Roro Chan? I don't know what that is. Oh no, I know that case. I do know that case. Yeah, that's the um that was that was on a live stream as well. Yeah, I know that case. That 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 actually no, that was a hard case to cover. Uh Ronnie McNutt was a hard case to cover. As was uh, 1444 Gleb. Gotcha, yeah. Well, I've run the gauntlet in my own way then, because uh, I get way too curious and watch some of these videos, and I always feel bad afterwards, but I keep doing it because I'm stupid. I think I think a lot of people have um, have that morbid curiosity, and it's hard to switch it off, you know? I mean, it's like, it's cliche, but like, what happens when you drive past a, a car crash? Most people slow down to take a look, right? Most people slow down. Most people are curious. I think it's just part of human nature. Like, to a lesser degree, why do we watch sports like boxing or MMA where the combatants can get killed? Why do we watch such sports? Yeah, the skill, the athletic endeavour, but it's a fight. It's violent. That's a big reason. Why, that's a big reason and the main reason why people are tuning in. That aspect is definitely... Um, I feel, I feel, I don't know, 
it's something a lot of people a lot it's something that a lot of people don't want to admit but it's it seems to be in our dna or our psyche for, for whatever reason yeah there's some fucked up scenes in red asphalt there's five of those fucking uh, movies as well the worst one that i remember watching in that series was um the aftermath of a car crash and like the highway patrol come along and uh basically scoop the guy so the car's like overturned and crushed and you see the guy in the car his like head's completely like caved open and the brain is all over the floor like all crushed up and shit and the highway patrol people just come along with like a plastic bag and pick up the brain matter plop it in the bag yeah that was the worst scene i remember yeah felony fights yeah bum fights as well Yeah, my day's been decent, Robbie. Or Robbie. My day's been decent. Christova Pe Palenkova. I'm having a cigarette too. Can you read my comment uh, for my friend to see and say, hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. What's up? What's up, Andy? No, I'm not great at maths. I'm not great. I'm not great. I work in finance, if I believe it or not, but I'm not good at maths. Computers are wonderful. Yeah, to a degree, Aussie Wolfhound. Yeah, to a degree, it does piss me off when upper class entitled brats in Western society whinge about how hard people have it, but say nothing about people in other countries like what you cover. Yeah. Yeah, the worst one was I, I've seen it in real life. Like, you know, those like uber liberal types. I'm not talking about like just old school liberal. I'm talking about like new school liberal, like crazy hair and all that shit. Somebody I know comes from a super wealthy family as well. But she talks down to like, talks down to everybody, like so patronizing. But regardless, I, I digress. Like she's a massive cokehead. And she was like, oh, she's like the type to say, oh, drug use is a victimless crime. And it's like, bro, do you know what you're funding? Like you're supposed to be like out here acting like you care for the downtrodden. And yet you're funding, like, you're funding fucking, uh, essentially terror groups. Okay. Okay. Here's what it is. Bang your fingers with a hammer and you forget all about your tongue and you should quit smoking. Yeah, I, I know, man. It's a horrible habit. It's a horrible habit. No, I need to read more. I need to read more, Monster Girly. That's not bad at all. I'm old. I looked at gore in magazines and medical books and then all kinds of fun media before the internet. I thought you was going somewhere else with it when you said about magazines and books. I need to read more. I need to read more. You're studying accounting. Good, man. It's, it's a good trade to get into. It's a good skill to learn. I'm decent at using Excel, JD. I'm decent. I'm decent enough. I'm decent enough for my job, what I need it for. But honestly, most of our work in my job is like in-house software, more so than Excel. South Park's decent, yeah. South Park's still decent. A hundred emoji. Yeah, rich kids, yeah, exactly. And they're working, they're the type of people, yeah, they come across like they'll 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 give you this whole liberal fucking stuff. But when a working class person has an opinion on something, they'll they'll shout them down instantly. That's what annoys me about those types. Ah, oh, full English. I'd love a full English. Oh, I'd love one. I made myself a nice burger today, though. Like burger, brioche bun, some red onion, some uh, lettuce. Amazing, man. Some chili. Like, I don't usually have mayo, 
but I like chili mayo, some chili mayo on there. A bit of cheese, lovely, amazing. Oh, that was good. What cartel was the most brutal? Today, um, you'd probably say CJNG, maybe. See, that's not, yeah, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, but yeah, we got some ideas in regards to content. CJ and aren't as bad as they were in the in the mid 2010s. They're not quite that reckless anymore. When they was like going after police and whatnot, because in the mid 2010s, they they declared war on like the uh, state police in Jalisco, and that's when they like shot up loads of police and whatnot. And in 2015, they had a big change in strategy um, because Mencho nearly got caught in 2012. Uh, where the helicopter got shot down by the RPG, um, that's when uh, they was they was trying to go after Mencho. They got news that Mencho was hiding out somewhere. Allegedly, Mencho was tipped off, and that's where the helicopter got shot down. But after that, like Mencho was uh, public enemy number one, and you know the authorities were gunning for him. Mencho got lucky because around that time, just after. Chapo escaped for the final time. And then, you know, that was viewed as a massive embarrassment uh, for the Mexican government. So they kind of switched focus from Mencho to Chapo. At that point, CJNG kind of changed their strategy. They, start, they, they stopped going after cops quite as much. And they kind of like pulled back on violence against the state. But yeah, I do wonder if Chapo never got released. It, no, sorry, if he never escaped that last time, Mencho in 2015, that would have been a tough year, like, could have been a tough year for him. 2015, 2016 could have been tough. What's up, bro? Uh, Craig Hutchinson, what's up? Who's Andy? Who the fuck is Andy? They got to Craig Hutchinson. Who the fuck is Andy? You quit smoking 25 years ago and still crave it. Don't tell me that, bro. Don't tell me that. You're making me want a cigarette now, bro. Now, this is an old-ass hoodie. This is an old-ass hoodie. Just a, uh old training hoodie I used to wear when I, when I boxed. I, I did actually go to the boxing gym early this month. Uh, sorry. Early this year, I started again, then I stopped. I stopped. I think my boxing bag's around it somewhere. I think it's in my bedroom. Yo, that's crazy, yeah. That was, um, yeah, did you see the Mexican townspeople that killed cartel members that were trying to go into their town? Yeah, I did. So that was La Familia Michoacana, or La... That was La Nueva Familia Michoacana, yeah. Yeah. Because basically what that was about, the uh, cartel were extorting, I, I believe this what this is what it was about. They was extorting farmers um, to the point to where the farmers just couldn't pay. So what happened was when the cartel guys came around to collect their like money, all the townspeople got together and tried to fight them off. And yeah, that's that's what that's what happened. But apparently, after that, after that all kicked off, apparently then the cartel went back and kidnapped two women or two daughters of um, farmers. So yeah, this is fucked up. It's mad. It's mad. But yeah, La Nueva Familia are making a lot of noise recently. I've noticed that on socials in the last year or so. They seem to be making a lot more noise. Pro, yeah. Will he be ready when we start seeing Apple Vision Pro VR optimized playing videos? You know what? As crazy as it sounds, it's probably going to happen. As crazy as it sounds. Can you imagine, bro? 
I I bet very rarely, George, very rarely. And if I do, it's unboxing. Because sometimes the bookies get boxing odds wrong. I'm not as healthy as I should be, but I don't I don't get ill or anything. I'm I'm a good weight. I'm healthy in that sense, but I I need to quit smoking. I need to quit smoking. I never eat baked beans, believe it or not. Never. Never eat baked beans. I can't do it on YouTube. That's the issue. If I want to say what I want to say. Maybe that's when we need to get a Patreon. Or Rumble. Air gear is great. Big up to yourself. Congrats on getting your monetization back. Thank you, man. Yeah, Andy. Who the fuck is Andy? Exactly. Yeah, that dude was fucking crazy. Do you know when I first saw that video, Big Zero, on Twitter? I thought it was fake. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was like a hoax or something. Then I looked into it. Like, what kind of a sick fuck do you have to be to kill your own father? Behead your own father? I couldn't believe that. I thought it was fake when I first saw it. It looked like a, it looked like a work. It looked fake. And then, Jesus. It's crazy. See you later, uh, Bender Bending Rodriguez. See, uh, see you later. I don't like wine, man. Wine, wine just gives me such a hangover. I can't do wine. Uh, so the gym to me is about six miles, give or take. I don't know, man. Life just gets in the way sometimes. Life just gets in the way sometimes. What do I think will happen to CJ NG if Mencho is killed or captured? Well, chances are they'll go the way of other cartels. Uh, maybe they'll splinter. Maybe they'll fracture. Mencho getting captured could be bad in the long run. That's the issue. A guy like that should face justice, as we know. But him facing justice could cause a lot more violence in the long run. It could cause a lot more violence. So it's one of those one. It's one of those things. Like, if he gets captured, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, some people think he's dead already. I don't think he is dead personally, but always bet on yourself. Yeah, exactly, bro. If you're gonna bet, bet on yourself. Thank you, Laxes, for Corgi. Yeah, it looked like it was filmed in a wooded area. So that was filmed near Tepelkatepec in Michoacan. And it took place after a shootout between CJNG and Carteles Unidos. This was 2020, I believe, or 2019. Yeah, it, it was a rural area. Can you imagine if you was hiking in Mexico and you come across something like that, bro? Just hiking in Michoacan and you come across that. Uh, on Twitch, do you play video games or just talk with fans? We do both. We do both. We play video. We play video games and talk to fans. And don't lie, not, I don't I hate using that word as well, fans. It's cringe, isn't it? Right, there's my Twitch, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, the horse video was wild. I have a morbid curiosity. In fact, it's intriguing. Yeah, I've got black hair. Yeah, I've got black hair. 
Why the mask after the face reveal? It's just I'm so comfortable with it. <clears throat> but listen, I'll probably start just wearing the glasses and hood. Thing is, I can't do the glasses and hood in the summer. Do you know what I mean? Can't do it. I'm glad, I'm glad though. I'm glad I didn't, I know it sounds really vain, but I'm glad I didn't get like a whole, a whole bunch of like fucking hate comments. You know, when somebody like reveals their face, I didn't even do a full face reveal in my opinion, but I'm glad, I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't get a load of hate comments. Yeah, so boxing, vengeful uh, rash, has been in and out in my life for a long time. Um, when I first started, I started quite late at 16, 17. Trained really hard when I first started, um, to the point to where I was sparring very regularly. And I got to the point where I was going to have an amateur fight. This was, how old was I? I think I was 18, possibly. I think I was 18. I was going to have an amateur fight. A, a fight got booked. So I, I, I had my opponent. The guy then pulls out. I can't get an opponent. Then I keep training. I keep training. I keep training. No opponents, no opponents, no opponents. Then things change in my life with work. I couldn't train as much. And ever since then, I haven't trained properly, basically. Um, but yeah, boxing, I do it now and again. You know, it's fun. It's uh it's fun. And I wasn't I wasn't great or anything, by the way. I wasn't great, but I sparred enough. I'm not I'm not a fan of uh, Paddy Pimlet. Not a fan at all. Well thank you, Monster Girly. Thank you. Yeah, what have you walked through the woods and walked into the pickaxe murders? Yeah, Los Tercios, right? Los Tercios. Ain't nothing fun about CTE. Yeah, that's true as well. That's true as well. But listen, no sense, no feeling and all that, right? What do I do in life besides YouTube? Good question. So I work full time. Um, I work full time. Aside from that, I help out my family. I spend time with my family, my friends. I like to cook now and again. I like to nerd out about boxing, um, football, music. I'm just like a regular guy outside of YouTube. I don't have any like crazy, crazy hobbies or anything like that. See you later, George. Glad you had a good time, man. <laughs> yeah, man, we uh we beat the case, bro. We beat the case. We beat the case, man. Which I'm pleased about. Cause when it when I, when it happened, I was like, what reused content? What's that about? But yeah, we'll get the glasses back out later. So the plan is, guys, <clears throat> live streams. I'm going to try and do one a month, but I want to, like I said earlier, I want to, um, I want to get people on. So journalists, for example, uh, narco journos. I'm not sure whether I'd do that in a live setting like this, or whether I'd whether I would record it and then upload it. I don't know. But that's what I'm kind of looking at doing as well. I want to do different things, you know? That would be nice to achieve this year. If we could achieve that, that would be nice. I just need to, st I need to start reaching out to people kind of thing. Yeah, I like the guy. Yeah, I like Tom Aspinall. He's a good fighter as well. Very good fighter.
good striker, good movement, fluid, good rhythm to his game, good jiu-jitsu as well. Good fighter, man. Very good fighter. Right now, we've been playing Daisy on Twitch. <clears throat> um, we've been playing Daisy, but I like Daisy, but I feel sometimes it's not the greatest game for an audience for a stream because sometimes a lot doesn't happen, kind of thing. It's a very very slow game, but I like Daisy. But we may we may look for something different to play next next stream. Yeah, Manchester United's my team, uh, Robbie. Manchester United, as bad as we are, I think Joshua beats in Garnu. Ilyas. I think Joshua beats him. I think Tyson Fury made Ngannou look better than he is. I think Joshua knocks him out. No, too much time has gone, Swisher. Too much too much time has gone. I doubt, I doubt he will ever be identified. I mean, you never know. Like Maybe that case has already been solved, but we just don't know. But I, I'm sure somebody would have found out. Yeah, the Greyhound stabbing could happen. I might put it on Rumble, uh, Athena Productions. I may put it on Rumble. It just, uh, I had a lot of trouble with it, bro. It's a shame as well, um, but it is what it is. Because, because two of those cases on that video were fucked up. Shall be Aslam? Possibly. 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 I don't know. I've never seen the video. I've never seen that video. But I know I know the case very well. Hi Disturbed, I'm from Iraq. Big up, by the way. Big up. Uh, can you please do a video about the spike speaker massacre? This massacre happened in 2014 by ISIS terrorists in Tikrit. Uh, some estimates suggest that 1,700 to 4,000 people were killed. I have heard of that case. I have heard of that case. I could, yeah, we may do it. We may do it. A lot of people have asked me about that case as well. Big up. You know, we've, we've actually got quite a few people who watch uh, from the Middle East, which is cool. Thank you, Root Gone Wild. Um, uh, thank you for doing the live stream. I have to, t I, I have to tend to my baby, but keep making good content. Glad you were able to keep your channel. Cheers. Thank you, Root Gone Wild. And yeah, have a have a good one. Have a good one. Yes, yeah, ten p.m. in the UK. Well, it's ten fifteen actually. Have you seen the twelve-year-old that was decapitated in Mexico? No, is that recent? Is that recent? Is that recent? That's a good question. Who is like the highest profile narco to get executed on camera? That's a good question. Maybe, um... El Vargo, you know the uh, that CJNG video. He was a uh, El Vargo was a relative of a high up member of La Nueva Familia. El Cholo was a big case, but it wasn't caught on camera. That's the thing. El Cholo is probably the most prominent narco to get killed recently, especially in that sort of manner. Uh, bro, I'd swap my Aussie Wolfhound. I will swap your weather for our weather. Give me that Australian weather, bro. That's, that's a good question as well. What career did you want as a kid? I'm going to roll another cigarette while I answer this. Believe it or not, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a farmer. I wanted to drive tractors and combine harvesters. Not, not, no cap either. I, w I wanted to be a farmer. That was my first career dream as a kid, like very young. Then I started watching wrestling. 
I wanted to be, I, I wanted to be like the rock and stone cold Shawn Michaels after wrestling what else did I want to be Honestly, the first thing I can re remember wanting to be was a farmer, as weird as that sounds. That's, it's actually, uh, it's like, you know, speaking to farmers, I don't, I don't laugh at the content I cover, but you know, um, there's that El Chapo police interview and they kind of question El Chapo and he's and he said like <laughs> the guy asked him what do you do for a living and he goes i'm a farmer it's like <laughs> bro i mean he's not technically lying is he yeah farmer boy everybody wants to be a farmer really i guess uh, maybe as a boy as a kid yeah yeah the attitude era bro stone cold the rock Triple H, Undertaker, Kane, like masked Kane, good Kane. Mick Foley, the Hardy Boys, Dudley Boys, Edge and Christian. Bob Holly, Crash Holly, Lita, Trish, bro, the Attitude Era was it. Road Dog, man. Oh, you didn't know your ass better call somebody. Road Dog was good. I liked Road Dog. Nah, I don't. Wa I don't watch WWE anymore. Nah, I I stopped watching when I was about thirteen. I stopped watching. When did I stop watching? Um. Probably about 2006. What's up, Roadman Shaq? How you doing? Nobody remembers Road Dog. I just, I just feel more comfortable with it. With a... Uh, with a mask. But yeah, I'll probably switch to the glasses full time soon. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, I am rolling a cigarette, William, yeah. Old school, old school shit. Yeah, I saw that, I saw that. Um... I saw that uh, soap, the rocks coming back, yeah. Yeah, Prime Rock was good, man. Rock and Stone Cold. Like, Stone Cold is basically the reason he sold so well. He was like, his, his gimmick was like every man's dream, what they wanted to say to their boss, basically. Him and Vince McMahon. By, by the way, Vince McMahon's in a lot of fucking trouble. He's a fucking degenerate. There's actually a video about the uh, spiker, speaker massacre. They made a man choose which way he wants to die, by a knife or by a bullet. Then another terrorist killed a man after he prayed in, in a sheer way. I'll have to check it out. I've, I've, been, I've been asked about that case a lot. A lot. Raven, yeah, Raven was in the hardcore division when I was watching anyway. He was in the hardcore division. Al Snow was there. Al Snow. Who remembers Al Snow? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I like rolling ciggies every now and then and every now and then, yeah. What's up, Jay Sane? How you doing? Do rag Vince, yeah. 
Hearing about the cartel videos you watch and describe to us is nothing compared to actually watching it. You were right. It stains your soul and takes a piece of you every time you watch a video. It can definitely have that effect. Yeah, I agree, Pavic. I agree. That that might be the last ISIS video I do. I'm, I may do that video. <clears throat> yeah, Comandante Bebe was another one, yeah. Because they hit his feet with the, the plank, yeah. And they electrocuted him, they cut his ear off, yeah. They, they fucked him up, yeah. They used a car battery to electrocute him, yeah. If you got captured and a Sicario gave you the choice of how to die, what would you choose? A gunshot. Gunshot. It's just the way, it's, it's the way of the internet, Sway Cap. It's the way of the internet. Yeah, I like Cold Raven. Yeah, I, I, I like Cold Raven stuff. I need to watch his video. He done a he done a stream with um, Takedown Man. What was it El Guero? <clears throat> El, El Guero Loca. Right, guys, I'm a bit more water and I'll be back with you. Oh, God. I have a lot of art of uh, La Santa Muerte laying around. Show it on social media, American Cynic. I can't lie, some of it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie, like some of some of the sculptures and whatnot. Thank you, Vaxis. Thank you. There you go. I forgot to put the camera back on. Uh, the ISIS case, uh, Camp Sp I can't say it. Is it Speaker or Spaker? It's an ISIS video. Yeah, my day was good, Black Knight. Um, so my thing is, I don't watch these videos each and every day, like contrary to popular belief. Um... I take time out, you know, I, I don't watch these videos every day. I've got a full-time job to keep me occupied. I have my hobbies, family time. I've got a lot of responsibilities as well, outside of work. Um, but yeah, I, I've just got a lot to keep my mind honest, I guess. I was saying earlier, I think if you're somebody who has, who has, blah, 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 can't talk, I think if you're somebody who hasn't got much going on, if you watch these videos, and you go down that rabbit hole, I think then it can really fuck with you. Like, really fuck with you. Thank you for Milkman. Thank you. And thank you as well, uh, Super Latero. Thank you. Oh, they all... Oh, okay, uh, so what cartel was it where, 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 where they were spanking a man with a paddle? A lot of cartels do that. Yeah, it's called paddling, yeah. But a lot of cartels do that. They'll usually do that to, like, thieves you know, as like a humiliation type of type of deal. And obviously it's painful. But yeah, they, they do that to like thieves and whatnot. That's a common thing. There's loads of videos like that. I was actually thinking of doing a video on cartel punishments, not murders, but punishments, because there's some fucked up videos out there. I saw one recently. I didn't watch it, but I saw the, I, I know the video exists kind of thing. I read up on it. Where uh, apparently, I don't know whether whether the, whether the guy was a thief or a um, or a rat, one of the two, and they branded him like, you know, like like cattle. They branded him. It's like, bro. Um. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on Kick? Yeah, it's definitely Twitch's biggest rival. Um, there seems to be a lot more scope on Kick to, you know, get a bit crazy, which is good. But I've not tried it. I've not tried it. I use Twitch. If I started again, I'd probably go on Kick, to be honest. If I started again, I'd probably go on Kick. I just feel like it's uh, there's no point in me now going to going to kick because I've worked on Twitch for a little while now and uh, what little following we've built up there has taken a while so it's like it's not worth it so we've got two thousand four hundred followers nearly on Twitch which is pretty good for Twitch you know it's good I like it. And there is my Twitch, by the way. Yeah, I've seen that as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy shits himself when he gets paddled, yeah. How can a person be this ruthless? Are they on drugs? Some are, without doubt. But I guess some are so far gone. They've done it so often that it becomes like a job. Like you... um. You look at the original Zetas, I mean, these guys killed for a living before joining a cartel, right? These guys were in the GAFE units uh, in the Mexican army. Uh, these guys were seeing, you know, seeing action in Latin America, in Chiapas in particular. These guys, these you know, these guys killed before. Yeah, yeah, it's a fake flower, bro. It's a fake flower. My mum gave me that. It's like Liam, you've got to put some stuff in your your apartment. You you live like a fucking like I don't know. Oh, thank you, Cement Shoes. Twelve months you've been a mem a, a member. Thank you, man. Legend. Legend, bro. Thank you. A uh, good thing about streaming on Rumble, you don't have to censor yourself. Yeah, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. <clears throat> possibly. Possibly, yeah. People become desensitized to violence given time. Makes them even more dangerous, unfortunately. Yeah, especially when, when it comes to these guys, these cartel guys. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's like the guy in um, the Zacatecas flaying video. Like, you watch that video. That's not that guy's first time. That's not that guy's first time doing that. He's done that before. You can't do it that quickly. I think he flayed the guy's whole head and face and scalp. Cut his throat, gave him a Colombian necktie and cut his heart out in like two minutes. Something crazy like that. A normal person couldn't do that. A normal person couldn't do that in two minutes. And he basically flayed the guy in one go, like... Barely leaving any skin. Like that guy, that guy's clearly done that before. Clearly done that before. Honestly, watching that video, that guy was probably the most experienced fucking Sicario executioner I've ever seen when it comes to cartel content. Easily. What will be <laughs> what will be only use me blades final stream name? One guy, one leg. Jesus Christ. Do you know what, Jake? You know when um he filmed that guy dying in his house? I something like that. I was thinking about making a video on it, but I didn't in the end. Yeah, I'm a boxing fan, Black Knight. Who would I want to see Terence Crawford fight? Honestly, for me, Jerron Ennis. I'd say Jerron Ennis. That's what I want to see, but I think Ennis is very good. <clears throat> very good. Best young welterweight right now. Uh, best, like, young up-and-comer in at, at welterweight is Ennis. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Can't say that on camera. 
I can't say that on camera. Uh, do you think so much exposure to gruesomeness in person can effectively make you a sociopath? Yeah. There's that whole debate whether so whether like psychopaths or sociopaths, whatever you want to say, are born or created. But I think they can be created, but I'd call them proto-psychopaths or proto-sociopaths. Uh, they're not born, but created, but some are but just born that way. Yeah, I'm pretty desensitized, but I still have a bit of humanity in me. Yeah, I'm the same, bro. I can't sit here and tell you guys I'm not desensitized. Because if, if we're talking about purely the visceral nature, I am fairly I, I am fairly desensitized. But that doesn't mean I don't feel bad for the uh, victims in the video, especially certain cases like the students, for example, the five students or Miss Pac-Man. There's various cases that make me feel like shit. Yeah, I like I like Ennis, bro. I think he is a very good fighter. Switch hitter, good power, good speed. He's tall, he's rangy. Good fighter, man. Good fighter. King Cobra, yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen. I've seen King Cobra, yep. Big up to uh, Grande Capo. Salute from Croatia. I'm late for the stream. Could you recap what happened with your YouTube appeal? Yeah, it, they accepted it. They accepted my appeal. It's all good. We're, we're back to where we should be. Yeah. Um, we 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 uh, we beat the system, I guess, right? <clears throat> and that, that as well, this is a good point as well, yeah. Seeing something on screen is much different to seeing it in person. Yeah, absolutely. Like if I saw these Zacatecas flaying in real life, I'd probably pass out. <clears throat> I'd probably pass out. Thank you, uh, Watford's finest. You must be uh, seething, uh, Watford's finest, that Luton are doing well in the Premier League. I know you guys and Luton don't get along. Big up to yourself, oh man, big up to yourself. ASJ, by the way, check out his channel. ASJ does uh, similar content to me. Um, really cool dude as well. Uh, really, really cool dude. Check him out, man. Really good channel. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. Uh, burnt Alive is like one of my fears. Burning is one of my fears. I'd say Burnt Alive. I, I hate loot and scum. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> There's that as well. That's a very good point. I don't think, sorry, I don't really think people can be desensitized from videos. You're watching what has, hap what has happened, not what is happening. In the moment, <clears throat> in the moment, that person is feeling pain as you're living way worse. That's a great point. That's a great point. That's a, this is true as well. Osseo Cardenas is going to be released August 2024, this year. Which is insane. He was the guy who made, or, or he, he created Los Etas, essentially. He founded them. How he's getting out of prison, I've got no idea. Because what you see in Mexico now is basically a byproduct of like Los Etas becoming a thing. Because everybody then followed suit with the paramilitary side of things. Every cartel copied and followed suit. Osiel Cardenas was a, um, he changed the game. He really did. And how he's getting out is crazy. Crazy. But he could still face charges in Mexico, right? So he's getting out of US prison. He'll get deported. Maybe he'll face time in Mexico. I don't know. A lot of people theorise he'll die when he goes to Mexico, though. A lot of people theorise he's going to get killed. Because he sold a lot of people out, apparently. So we'll see. That's interesting, though. The whole Osiel Cardenas 
situation is interesting if he gets released. That as well, yeah. The Discord cases are weird, yeah. The one where the uh, kid stabbed the old lady or cut her throat, yeah. <clears throat> Yo, that's that's another thing, Jake. There's a lot of videos going uh, coming up on Twitter now showing some fucked up shit, especially like accident videos. <clears throat> Jake Shields, yeah. Jake Shields is going crazy on Twitter. El Mencho versus El Chapo. Mencho is taller, right? I'd, I'd assume. I think he's taller. Are you serious? I've heard that there are some neo-Nazi activities in, in Mongolia, especially the city I'm in. Really? Wouldn't have guessed that with Mongolia, to tell you the truth. Wouldn't have guessed that. It's crazy, though. We have somebody from Mongolia or, li or living on, in Mongolia in the chat. That's crazy. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, American Cynic. I heard about it. Uh, Jao Vitor, uh, love your channel. Greetings from Brazil. Thank you, man. Love, uh, love, love the support, man. Big up to yourself. Rudvik is the 1444 video cursed. No, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. It's just, uh, it's just fucking sad, isn't it? It's sad. What is Mongolian cu uh, cuisine like? I'm assuming it's meat heavy. I'm assuming it's meat heavy. No, we may do one more. We, we may do one more, Black Knight. We may do one more. <clears throat> I just feel there's only so much you can say about ISIS. I feel like there's only so much you can say kind of thing. Because I feel like if I cover ISIS from this point onwards, it's just going to be covering gore videos for the sake of it. And I've done that a couple of times. And I don't enjoy making those videos, to be honest with you. I like doing videos where I can do some research as well and look into various gangs or whatever, whoever it may be. Are you going off to the Philippines? That sounds great. That sounds great. If I had to go to, if I had to visit Asia, Philippines would be on the list. Because I'd love to go and see like uh, the kickboxing fights in the Philippines. Plus I'm a big Manny Pacquiao fan and I like, I love like Thai food. As, sorry, I love Thai and Filipino food. So I'd love to go to the Philippines and, and obviously the weather. I'd like to go to Titan. I'd like to go to Thailand to see kickboxing again. And I'd like to go to Japan and also South Korea. They're the four countries I think I'd like to go to in Asia. In Asia, sorry. No, I've not looked into uh, Puerto Rico, really. I keep, I've, I've been asked about it, but I haven't looked into it. Okay. Steamed marmot guts, dumplings, fried meat pie, etc. It sounds sounds okay to me. I like dumplings. Fried meat pie sounds all right. Don't sound that bad to me. Don't sound that bad at all. Don't know about the steamed marmot guts. That doesn't sound all that appealing. But the other the others seems okay. San Marino, what's up? 
Your thoughts on the Chinese phenomenon of their lack of compassion? Only in China can a kid get run over again and again while people stand and watch. True story, and many more like it. I heard there's a reason for it. Like, if somebody becomes involved, can the person... I, I heard there's a weird reason for it. Like, the person who tries to help could end up getting sued or something. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm tripping, but... I swear there was a reason for it. Because I've met, I've only met like one Chinese person where in my area and she used to run a chip shop. Like she's an older lady and she was super nice. Like she'd always give us like uh, me and my friends like cheaper shit. But she'd always give us discounts because we always used to go in there. Been to Thailand and Indonesia, uh, plus Thailand, all nice places. Philippines food is number one, yeah. I like a good Thai curry. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I like a good Thai curry. See, that's my idea of, like, Asian food. I'm not, like, a big, like, sushi guy. I, I don't mind sushi. I, I like it. It's all right. But I like a, a good Thai curry. I'm not going to lie. Thoughts on the JP lists? Do you mean Epstein? Uma? Don't know what you mean there. What do you mean what happened? I'm still here. Indian food. Indian food is where it's at as well, by the way. You, you reminded me. Uh, I'm the only Indian right here. In here. Throat. Well, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. But speaking of Indians, Indian food is another one of my favourites. I'm I'm always that guy. Every time I go to an Indian restaurant, I'll go for the bao curry, like the hottest one. And I love the challenge. I love the challenge. I love Indian food, man. But I spend, I just spend so much money though when I go to, when I go to an Indian restaurant, I spend too much money. Yeah, I've had a doner kebab. Everybody in the UK has had a doner kebab. Yeah. We've got a lot of people from Finland. Rex Aries from Finland as well. So yeah, yeah, we got another Indian. Big up to big up to India. Salute. <laughs> Texas in the house. Big up Texas. Big up to Luis. Salute. Yeah, I always say this. I always say this. If you if you get the chance, try Lebanese food. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lebanese food is unbelievable. Unbelievable. But these these sort of cuisines don't really get talked about all that much, but Lebanese food is amazing. I'm also a big fan of Turkish food as well. I love Turkish food. It's because I love lamb, you know, I love lamb and, you know, Turkish food, there's so, so much lamb dishes you can get. But I love, I love Lebanese food. I love Turkish food. I'm not Mexican now. I am British. Although somebody said I looked like a cholo. Some, some Mexican guy said I looked like a cholo. <laughs> Which is funny. On my uh, last video, my face reveal thing. Yeah, the Epstein list is not even the full list of uh, these people or whatever. They are 
they remain in the mist. Yeah, we, we're only going to get drip fed tiny pieces of information about that whole affair. What we know is what they want us to know, really, I think. Yeah, we're going to struggle without Lissandro. Yeah, we'll struggle big time. He's our best defender by a mile. He's cool, he's composed, calm, good on the ball, brave, good leader. Not many of those at Man United. Thai crab fried rice and their stuffed chicken wings. That sounds amazing. I love crab. I love... I'm very, food is like one of my main things, you know. I love trying new food. Like if you asked me what was a dream job, like a dream job, <clears throat> aside from like covering what I talk about abroad and actually seeing it firsthand and talking to people, whatnot, like being a journalist, I guess. Aside from that, I think one of the best jobs in the world is to be a food critic. That must be such an amazing job. I'd love that job. I love trying new food. I'll try anything once. I'm one of those guys. I'll try anything once. Thank you, bro. And another cuisine that's underrated, like Lebanese and like Turkish, is Jamaican food. Jamaican food is so underrated. And it's so it's it's um it's really good comfort food as well. Like I like my saltfish patties, I like oxtail stew, dumplings and whatnot. I love all that. Jerk chicken, obviously, I like. There's not many cuisines I don't like, honestly. I, I'll eat anything. I like trying anything. Are you gonna sing to Luton Town? Um, I think the longest version is like two minutes, right? They found. Possibly. I don't think so at this point. No, I've never been to Binley Negativity. <laughs> no, it's not fresh. It's not fresh. It's not fresh. And by the way, thank you, Black Knight. Legend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, a recent, a couple of recent CJNG clips. Your British accents shifted into more of an American accent for the last five years because Mongolians speak American English. Oh, interesting. Yeah, kangaroo, right? You can eat kangaroo. I'll try it. I'll try it. There's not, there's not much I wouldn't try. <clears throat> there's not much I wouldn't try. No, I, I didn't see the score, but I, knew, I know it was a blowout, but I'm not sure what the score was. Was it not like 6-0 or something crazy? But yeah, my haircut's not fresh right now. It's not fresh. Uh, do you like to take suggestions on cases people have heard of? Or rather not, just curious. Uh, it depends on the case, bro. It's like anything. It depends on the case. I'd, I'd consider most things. I've never used a Ouija board. Not that I, not that I believe in it, but I've just never used one. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Big up to yourself. And solidarity, big up. Nice. 
DZ9, thank you. I'm glad you fit. I'm glad you're you, you like my content. Legend, thank you, man. Yeah, I've been to other European countries. I've been to Bulgaria, Spain, Italy, Portugal, Greece, Wales. Yeah, we've been to Spain. I think I said Spain. Been to a few. Yeah, I drive. I drive. Probably I may upload it to um what do you call it? Rumble. Okay, you're originally from Southeast UK. What town? What town are you from? If you don't want to say, don't say. Uh, would I try Snake? <laughs> would I try Snake? Um, If it was like... I wouldn't try it tinned, I'm not going to lie. I'd try it if it was caught and cooked, like, however you're supposed to cook Snake. I'd try it then, yeah. I, I mean, I'd assume snake would be tough, right? I'd assume it would be tough. Aren't snakes just all muscle? <clears throat> Big up to the Welsh. Yeah, I like Wales. I like Wales. Salute. See you later, Watford si uh, Finest. <laughs> stay safe unless you're in loot and dig up to yourself man okay right yeah I know right I know right I know I can never say those names. Um, is it Gary Plouch? Oh, this is the um. Yeah, I know this case. Yeah, I know this case. He was the one who, yeah, I know this case. I think. Yeah, I know that case, but yeah. Yeah, Gary Plouch was a legend. Big up to him. Big up to him. Um, do I believe in a higher power? Yeah, I believe in God, yeah. How long do you do streams? Um, do you need to wake up early to go to work? Well, I work from home tomorrow. I work from home tomorrow. <clears throat> so uh, it's no crazy mad rush, but usually on YouTube, I always try and hit like three hours maybe. There or thereabouts. When I stream, in my defense, when I do stream, I do usually stream for pretty good periods of time. I usually do do stream quite a while. Three hours kind of minimum type of thing. I've not heard yet about Disturbing if he's had any more luck. I've sent him what I did. But I've not heard anything as of yet. I've not heard anything as of yet. So fingers crossed for disturbing. And by the way, guys, if you're on Twitter, follow him on Twitter and uh, retweet his stuff talking about it. Is there a woman-only cartel? There's been supposed women-only like cells, like Sicario cells or Sicaria cells. Yeah, not not a women-only cartel though. I think that would be great, um, Jefferson Alvarado if we could get, like, an interview with a Sicario. <clears throat> that would be amazing. Then we could delve into that. That would be really cool. There is a narco on, on Instagram called um, El Placa, or, like, The Plague. He's on Instagram. I should make an Insta uh, Instagram account and try and reach out to him, try and get an interview. What do you reckon? 
I don't know if he's still on. I think he's still on Instagram. I think he's still on Instagram. Uh, Twitter is the best place, Sway. Twitter. Um, I can send you my Twitter in chat if you have a Twitter. That is. My Twitter's there. See, some people say they're too long. My MC. My MC YC. I, some people say they're too long. Some people only want to hear about the gore. But I like, especially with like cartel videos, I like the information part personally. I, well, that's what I enjoy doing. <laughs> yeah, Slavic blood is kicking in. Adidas, yep. Yeah. A big up, thank you, uh, Gietis. Gietis, Gietis, thank you very much, man. Big up. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, but my Twitter's the best place, Sway. My my Twitter's the best place. Did I did I put my Twitter in there? Am I tripping? Did I put my Twitter in? Hang on. There you go. No, I've not seen Chinese street food. <laughs> yeah, StreamYard is so invasive with that watermark. Yeah, I, I mean, the comments sometimes, like, covers, covers shit up, but... You can, if I buy StreamYard, it will go, the comment, the uh, thing at the top will go. But I don't, I don't use it enough, really. That's the thing. I I only stream, what... I don't even stream once a month. I need to stream once a month, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's just the generation we live in now, honestly. Um, I think it's the generation we live in. It's funny you say that. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Cartel lost media. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I was thinking of doing one, like a cartel lost media video and a cartel myths video. Speaking of cartel lost media, uh, somebody sent me a clip who I correspond with. And I think it is a lost media cartel clip found, I think. It's a burning video, like a setting someone on fire. But I need to I need to send it to someone to translate when I get time. When I get time, sorry. <clears throat> well, I think that's believable. I think that is believable, SK. Very, very possible. Very possible. I've heard SK like a lot of people say he lives like between Kalima and and um Jalisco in the mountains, like he goes back and forth. That's one of the theories I've heard. Yeah, I agree, LW. I'm the same. I like a good long video. Because that's how I enjoy YouTube. So when I watch YouTube or listen to YouTube, it's usually it's usually in the context of me doing something else. <clears throat> so like work, for example, if I'm working, well, I'm working from home tomorrow, I put YouTube videos on and listen to them. So I like longer videos. Yeah, shorts and reels are damaging people's minds and the mainstream media won't talk about this. Well, people's attention span is, like like people were saying, it's decreasing year on year, isn't it? No, it's bullshit. It's bullshit, Carrick. It's, it, seems like, it seems like bullshit. Bro, imagine a South Park episode where they have like cartel leaders and shit like El Mencho, fucking Chapo, El Mayo. 
Yeah, JCS is a great channel. Love his channel. <clears throat> Love his channel. Prop that's proper true crime. Proper, proper true crime. What I don't like when I see true crime, I'll tell you what I don't like when I see true crime or, or any content like this is um, I don't like it being presented in like a real over the top way. I think true crime is always better when it's simplistic. Which is why, funnel, I don't usually talk about other YouTubers. Which is why I was always skeptical of uh, Mama Max or Mama Max, however you say his name. Because if you if you just deep it, if you deep it, the content or the subject matter in which he was talking about didn't didn't require to be dramatized that much. It didn't need to be dramatized. The topic in which he covers is so serious, it doesn't need to be dramatized. And yet he did. That should have been people's first red flag. That should have been people's first red flag. Because if you knew of a case like that, or, like, or what he was talking about, and you knew it was real, would you, would you approach it in that manner? I wouldn't. It's not a fucking screenplay. Guess your age, 32. <clears throat> I like that profile picture as well. Yeah, there is, yeah, there is, Um, when it comes to Funky Town, there is a little discrepancy in a couple of videos, yeah, in a couple, there's a couple different versions, yeah. Greetings from Croatia. Do you think CJ Engie will take over Mexico? Also, really wish your videos were longer. Really enjoy them. And also, do you think Mencho is really dead? I don't think Mencho is dead, personally. Can CJ Engie take over Mexico? I mean, the only people standing in their way, really, is Sinaloa. And I guess the government, right? Right now, the government seems to be focusing on, on the Sinaloa cartel more than CJ Engie. So... We shall see. This year is going to be interesting in regards to the remaining El Chapo sons. So Ivan, for example. It's going to be interesting because uh, the authorities seem to be really focusing on Sinaloa right now. Want to take over after El Mencho as El, <laughs> El, Disturbio, El Disturbo. I don't think I would last very long. I don't think I would last very long. Big up to yourself, Space Gal uh, Galax. And thank you. And thank you, um, Hitlinio. Thank you very much. Well, I'm good, Taranto. I'm good. How about yourself? See you later, Space Galax. See you later. El Mayo is... Um, He's been in the drug trade since the 70s. Never once seen jail. Never once seen jail. Over 50 years of trafficking. Never once seen a jail cell. Unbelievable. He's definitely on the, on the uh, Mount Rushmore. He's definitely on the Mount on the Mount Rushmore. I've got Joshua beating Ngannou. I think Fury made Ngannou look better than he is in boxing. I don't think Fury took it seriously. I don't care what Tyson Fury said. He looked fat to me. He looked flabby. I think Joshua beats Ngannou comfortably. I do. I mean... They're probably they they probably are still seen as bigger, Sinaloa, but I wouldn't say they're way bigger. 
it's pretty comparable at this stage. It's pretty comparable. Actually, I don't know. Don't Royal Marines get deployed in Mexico every now and then? Be pretty hard for them to beat the Royal Marines. I don't know. I've never heard that before. No. I don't think they could. They couldn't just walk free in cities. I, I wouldn't have thought so. Triple K. I wouldn't have thought so. I'd say they're out in the mountains somewhere, bro. Like just going from safe house to safe house. Yeah, bro, SK, if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's the best place. That's the best place to send me stuff, honestly. Let me know if you have Twitter. Because I can always use footage in a video. And I'll give you credit, obviously. No, I've not, I've not watched Griselda. I want to watch that, um, I think it's a series on Netflix called Somos, or Somos, S-O-M-O-S. And it's based on the uh, Allende massacre that the Zetas perpetrated. Kind of want to watch that. Kind of want to watch that. One second, guys. Sorry about this. I'm smoking like a degenerate. Sorry about that. Right, uh, I remember that you, uh, you said there was two videos that you couldn't watch, but still have commentary on. One of them I found completely understandable for not watching, as it also seems next level disgusting. Yeah, that was Richard Carrillo, right? Richard Carrillo, or Carrillo, yeah. Okay, for sure, I'll send through Twitter and save a link. Okay, cool. That sounds awesome, SK level. That sounds awesome. Don't get yourself in trouble, though. Don't get yourself in trouble. That's the main thing, bro. Don't get yourself in trouble. But yeah, follow me on Twitter, bro. Let me know who you are. And uh, and yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, fuck Luca Magnotta. Yeah, fuck that guy. That's a great question. Um, <clears throat> how can we all not be lured to a fake job offer from a cartel? That's a great question because that happens all the time. All the time. They, they, there's, there's some belief the case would be five Mexican students, uh, uh, the five students in Jalisco. There's some theories that they have may have they may have responded to a job offer, but who knows? Who knows? One second, guys. Bear with me. I'm just fucking up here, guys. My bad. My bad. Okay, sorry about that, guys. That was my bad. Um, I wonder if the cartel has kidnapped anybody way outside Mexico. 
like maybe in the UK or Germany, Italy, etc. Not sure about not sure about that, to be honest. I've not heard of it. But you know, there's been rumors of cartel members coming to Europe. Like Heriberto Lascano was said to have visited Europe quite a lot. Uh, uh, Chino Antrax obviously came out to Europe. He was arrested in Holland. Uh, who else? Who else was there who uh, came to Europe? I forget. There's someone else as well. <clears throat> yeah, that as well. One bitch nine pups. Never watched it. Did you know that Canelo Alvarez isn't protected in Mexico? His brother was kidnapped some time ago and he mainly lives in California these days. Yeah. Yeah, his brother got kidnapped before he fought Rocky Fielding. Yeah. I mean, it's a hell of an extortion target, right? Canelo is one of the richest athletes in the world. So, I mean, you can understand, you see why they did it, right? But back in the day, um, yeah, a lot of Mexican fighters had links to or friendships with um, drug cartel bosses. Like um, Julio Cesar Chavez, he came out with... Um... Who did he walk out with? Julio Cesar Chavez, I forgot. He walked out with like a fucking narco one time. Yeah, yeah, Chavez. Chavez was good friends with a lot of cartel leaders. And it's kind of funny, right? Because uh, many of these leaders hated each other, but they all wanted to be friends with Chavez. Chavez was like Mexico's Michael Jordan back then. He was a huge, huge, huge star back then. Like in the 80s and 90s, Chavez was Mexico's biggest, like most famous sportsman. Trying to think who he walked out with, though. Yeah, maybe. May that could be fun. That could be fun. I feel like with Raven, I can let my hair down and and have a joke as well, which is good. Hector Camacho was a good fighter. Did you... Oh, bro, are you crazy? That British Indian student facing $245,000 penalty for blowing up a plane joke in the Discord... Uh, sorry, in the Snapchat group. Jesus Christ. Can't tell, You can't tell any jokes anymore. It's crazy. No, sorry, $245,000. Jesus. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. GTA 6? Yeah. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. We'll see. I mean, it depends where you're at, right? It depends where you're at. Who has more authority in Mexico, CJNG or Cartel de Sinaloa? I'd probably still say overall Sinaloa, but I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Thing is, Sinaloa have been around a lot longer as well. You have to consider that. In terms, of, in terms of skill, in terms of like, especially when it comes to uh, Mexican boxing, in terms of pure skill, I think Salvador Sanchez was the best. But he died at 23 years old. He died really young. He died in a motorcycle crash. He died really young. But he'd already beaten people like Azuma Nelson. 
at 23 years old. His resume was crazy at 23. If he had a full career, Salvador Sanchez may be in the conversation as the greatest of all time. Yes, Ariano. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, Chavez, Chavez walked out with uh, uh, Ariano. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. It, it, it escaped me. It just escaped me. Yeah. But he was friends with all like the, the all, all the Dons, all the Cabos. Because I, I don't care whether you're a cartel leader, in the 80s or 90s, you're not going to touch Chavez. You're not going to touch him. Because he's like Mexico's hero. So they all wanted a piece of him. They all wanted a piece of him. And he was a great fighter as well, man, Chavez. Great body puncher. No, I've never I've I've never played Mortal Kombat. You shouldn't be here, bro, if you're 15. Big up Danny Lee. Boris Johnson, don't like him. Awful. Truly awful. Utterly awful. Favourite video game of all time? Um, big fan of Red Dead 1. Big fan of, the, uh, of uh, San Andreas, GTA San Andreas. Vice City, I'm a big fan of. Ooh, I'm going to say, yeah, but I'll just leave it at that. Jorge Paez, yeah. Former circus clown turned boxer. Yeah, he was a good fighter. He was a good fighter. Really good fighter. What's up, J-Rod? How are you doing? Nice to see you here. What happened to the Juarez cartel? They kind of split and fractured. Uh, La Linea is the biggest offshoot of the Juarez cartel. La Linea was basically their version of Los Etas when the, when the Juarez cartel first introduced it. La Linea was, basically it means the line. And the reason they call it that is because they started La Linea by recruiting like crooked police officers and former police officers. That's who, that's who, they, that's who started La Linea. The original members were like ex-police officers and whatnot, corrupt police officers. Hence why it was called The Line. But yeah, La Linea now are still, they're still pretty uh, pretty powerful uh, in Juarez. And they've, they've uh, allied with CJ Engie as well. Last I checked anyway. Not gonna lie, your female viewers are fairly are really pretty. Uh, do I smoke weed? I mean, only now and again. I treat it like I treat it like um, cigars, like now and again. I don't smoke weed every week, every month. Like net once in a blue moon, I'll smoke weed. Maybe like four times a year, maybe on average. I just do it as a treat sometimes. Yeah, so a lot of faces are safe in Mexico. A lot of places, a lot of places are safe in Mexico. Um, uh, Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak is the prime minister in the UK. Yeah, it does. It's it's annoying to talk, bro, because on the front of a mask, under my lip is like a little plastic bit and it catches my lip when I talk. So it sounds like I've got a slur when I wear this mask. And I've also, like I said earlier, I've also bit my tongue as well. Which doesn't help. Um, nah, it's pretty easy. I can't lie. It's pretty easy. It's just not legal, but it's easy to find. It's easy to get. It's easy to get. I think everybody knows somebody who sells it. And you can get it online as well, by the way, in over here. I shouldn't, allegedly, on Minecraft. Yeah, exactly. It's it's easy to get. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's easy to get. Weed, weed is easy to get, and if you're a coke head, coke is easy. Coke is easy to get as well. Nah, I don't, I don't think so, Danny Lee. I don't think so. I don't think so. From what people were saying when I researched Funky Town. Many people said the accents in that video are from like either like the Guerrero, Michoacan type of region, that area, but who knows. And that video came out when? 2016, I want to say. So back then that could have been Knights Templar, could have still been CJNG, could have been a Zeta shoot off, like a Splinter Cell, could have been La Familia. Could have been a whole host of different cartels who did that. Could have been Viagra's. They're all trash, man. All of these, all of these politicians are trash. Thank you, bro. I'm glad. I'm glad you like the content, man. I'm glad you like it. I've actually really enjoyed tonight's stream. I was going to stream last week, but I. I just couldn't get around to it. Yeah, the old school Zetas are still knocking about in Tamalitas. They're still knocking about. No, fentanyl isn't really a thing in the UK. It's not really a thing. Not yet anyway. It's not it doesn't seem to have been introduced over here, which is good. Yeah, it does feel bad. It does feel bad. I can't lie. It's more my tongue. It's more my tongue hurting is is even worse. But there you go. Thank. Uh, see you later, Pavic. Have a great evening. Have a great evening. One sec. Thank you, uh, Nova. Thank you very much. Favorite meal in the UK? If you're talking about UK food, I love a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie. Love it. Shepherd's pie for me, actually. Yeah, shepherd's pie. Yeah, Tamalipas is so violent that resident. Uh, Tamalipas is so violent that residents have nicknamed it Matalipas. Mata means to kill. Yeah, yeah. The thing is with Tamalipas, <clears throat> there's so many like splinter, like splinter factions of like the Gulf Cartel, the Zetas, etc. And you know, all of these splinter groups are fighting amongst each other. Like, you can't really say what the Gulf Cartel is anymore. Like, they'll use the Gulf Cartel name, but, like, there's Gulf Cartel Los Metros. There's Gulf Cartel Grupo Escorpiones, etc. There's so many splinter factions of the Gulf Cartel now, many of which aren't on, on the same page kind of thing. Los, I think Los Rojos is another one, maybe. Los Metros. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Oh, really? There's a few fentanyl-laced benzo benzodiazepines here in Wales at the moment. It's caused a few deaths. Oh, that's crazy. I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Metros are definitely still around. No pets. No pets. What word? Yeah, I, I don't I don't plan on going on the deep web. And thank you, Jade. Thank you very much. Yeah, fingers crossed for Disturbin as well. By the way, actually, where is Disturbin's Twitter?
you give him a follow as well. It'd be amazing. You give Disturbin a follow. And try and retweet his stuff, talking about it as well. Yeah, let us know what the plan is. Every everything is done. Do you have Twitter? Everything is done. Do you have Twitter? Because it's best to get in contact, type of thing. That's the best way. Because I don't, I can't get into my emails right now. That's the best way. Is to get me. Is to get me on Twitter. <clears throat> Oh, Tamalipas. I do say it a bit weird, don't I? <laughs> I do say it a bit weird. Amir Ibrahim, what's up, bro? Uh, what happened to Al Mayo? He's still chilling in the mountains, more than likely. Lord Luigi, 14 years ago. Sorry, la, 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 can't talk. 14 years ago, this guy showed up at my, to my grandma's funeral in drag. Turns out he was an ex. He was the ex mayor paying his respects while keeping a low profile. He was executed with his brother not long after by Zetas. Are you serious, Lord Luigi? Are you serious? That's fucking crazy. That's insane. Same thing. He's in the mountains, right? Surely. In Kalima or, or uh, Jalisco. I'm in between relationships, bro. I'm a single man. I'm a single man. That is, um, that is from your next, the horror movie. Uh, your next. It's it's not good to wear though because it comes across like really echoey. But yeah, El Mayo is another guy who's who supposedly has like poor health, like diabetes and whatnot. I wonder whether these are cover stories, and you know, I I wonder whether these stories are bullshit. Uh, no, I don't. I don't watch soaps. I don't know. Okay, it's a story I can't ever forget. His brother didn't even do anything. The mayor was a close friend of the family. He had let a rival cartel passage through his ranch and Los Etas did not like that. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. No, commiserations, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I liked your next. It's good. Do people send me weird stuff? Um, not really. Not really. Not really. Not I've not had any, I've not had any like severed heads sent to me as of yet. <laughs> Who would win, Mensho or Chapo in a in a fist fight? Prime for prime, Mensho. Right now, Chapo. If you believe Mensho is ill, that is. If Mensho isn't ill, Mensho pre fuck him up. Oh uh, yeah, I've seen the Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah. I don't think it's a great movie, to be honest with you. It's just like a shock. It's like a shock factor type of movie for back in like back in the, back in the day. Cannibal Holocaust was a shocking movie. You know, it was like one of the original kind of like gore fest movies, I guess. 
No, none of these, no, no cartels have ever reached out to me as of right now. You never know though, right? You never know. Yeah, imagine Men Show in his like mansion in the hills watching my content. I'd rather he didn't, to be honest. I think uh, that's a good question. Why do Mexican boxers always destroy UK boxers? That's a good question. It's it's become a very recent thing. I think most a lot of Mexican fighters just want it more, to be honest with you. Plus, in the UK, the level of training, the level of boxing trainers, I think, is really poor. It's one thing I noticed uh, training in the UK. Thing is, with the UK trainers, they they try to make everybody fight the same, um, like straight up and down, jab, straight, right, high guard. Not everybody's suited for that. Everybody's got different body mechanics. Also, in the UK, inside fighting isn't taught anywhere near enough. There's a few reasons, I think. That made me jump. Do I think Mencho will ever be caught? Bro, if that ever happens, I'll probably go live. If Mencho gets caught, I'll probably go live and talk about it. And react to it live. I think Mencho getting caught would be the biggest thing we'd live through on this channel, to be honest. Maybe Mayo getting caught. It, yeah, it is. So Mexican cartel law is very complicated because when it comes to the research behind it, um, a lot of sources contradict each other. Um, so, like, yeah, a, a lot of sources contradict each other like what went down, who said what, what happened. Um, a lot of this isn't written in black and white, as in like official kind of thing. Some of it's kind of Chinese whispers. It's it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard sometimes, but... Yeah, Ricky Hatton was okay. Ricky Hatton was okay. I preferred Joe Calzaghe and David Hay back in those days. But yeah, Ricky was okay. I liked Ricky and uh, he's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Barrera against Nassim Hamed, yep. Yeah. Barrera Marco Antonio Barrera though was a great boxer. He was he was underrated technically. He was underrated. He was a very good fighter. Like he beat Morales as well, like very good fighter. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier. When I first saw it, Hose a bike, I thought it was fake. Genuinely thought it was fake. I thought it was a hoax. But yeah, that guy clearly is like schizophrenic or something. Has some serious mental issues. Like he was 33 years old, no job, living at home with his dad and he kills his dad. That guy was, he was mental. Yeah, OG Shadow I like. I don't think you can compare though. They they, they operate on in they operate in different areas, different eras. I don't think you can compare. Like it's it's one of those things, isn't it? Uh have you heard of the uh Digil uh, wedding massacre when a terrorist group a uh, group probably linked to ISIS killed two families? when the families were on cars celebrating a wedding. No, I haven't. How how prominent are ISIS still in the Middle East? How prominent are ISIS at this moment in time? Yeah, bro. Brazilian cartels is also complicated, yeah. Or factions, as they're called. Yeah, very complicated. Oh, really? Guitarist dog. I, my introduction to Funky Town was interesting. I looked up a clip from Silence of the Lambs on YouTube 
and the video about Funky Town was on the was in the suggestions below. If that's crazy. Thank you, Kiwi. Uh, what's your thoughts on new Neuralink news? Personally, I think it's scary how they're putting devices into someone's brain. Literally, someone right now with it, apparently. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. If that technology falls into the wrong hands, it's a tyrant's dream. Don't you think? Maybe I'm a conspiracy theorist, but to me, bro, I don't like the idea of it. That's, that could be used for, uh, for evil. Nope, no bueno, no bueno. <clears throat> Something that always made my skin crawl in Mexico is knowing that any time I exit the small town my parents are from, a cartel member always knows who or where, I'm, where I am because my mum taught their boss. Oh, what, is your mum Is your mum a teacher? That's crazy. Yeah, I've seen it, Casper. I've seen it, yeah. Who's the best boxer right now? Um, you got Crawford. you got Inoue. Who else is there? Usyk. I think they're the top three in no order. In no particular order, Crawford, Inoue and Usyk. I think they're the best. Yeah, so Los Queenies, who who were like the financial arm of CJNG, um, long-time associates of El Mencho, they trafficked a lot to Europe uh, in the early years especially. Yeah, they definitely do. All these cartels have contacts in Europe, like the big cartels. They have contacts in Europe, they have contacts in Africa, they have contacts in Asia, Australia, uh, other Latin American countries. These guys have contacts all over the, all over the world. Yeah, they're going to send ads to your brain if you don't pay for premium. I know, right? I think I think Paterbiev is going to beat Dmitry Bivol. I think he's going to beat Bivol. To be honest, favorite color? Don't really have one. I guess red. Yeah, red because of Man United. Yeah, red. I've I've looked at it a little bit, but I've not like gone down the rabbit hole. To be honest with you, uh, Mr. Rothschild. I've not gone down the rabbit hole. I'd love to visit Mexico, Black Knight. I'd like to go to Mexico for two reasons. One, to cover what I cover. But also for a holiday. I want to see Mexico as Mexico as well. The good side of Mexico. Because uh, the food's going to be fucking bueno. The sun. The scenes. I'll love it. I'll, I'd love it out there. Honestly, for a holiday, if I were to go to Mexico on holiday, do you know what really interests me, actually? I would love to see, you know, like the pyramids in Mexico, like in Chiapas and whatnot. That would be amazing. I'd like to see, um, I'd like to travel to like really indigenous parts. I'd like to see some of those areas. And I'd probably cap it off with like a like a stay in like a regular semi resort place, like near the beach, near the ocean, maybe, maybe, maybe even um maybe even Cancun. Cancun on spring break, British accent is a winner. Surely. That might be the plan. We explore Mexico for a week, then for the last week, we stay in Cancun, spring break, British accent, fish in a barrel, jobs are good and what do you what do you say? That sounds like a good plan. But no, I'd love to see I'd love to see um I want to see like Aztec sculptures and, and whatnot and ruins. That's what I want to see. 
That's what I want to see. Yeah, um, Keen Mulready Woods. I know that case. It's funny you say that, Robert. I, I've had that case on my list for so long. Like, probably two years. So that could very easily happen. <clears throat> that could very easily happen. That it will it will happen at some point. It will happen. The longer I'm streaming, the more I'm smoking, which is not good. Yeah, bro, 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 bro. Imagine the Aztecs had cameras, right? Can you imagine? They haven't said that, though. We was never there. You never know what it was like. Sometimes history gets distorted. You know, hit, uh, history's written by the victors and all that. History gets distorted. If I got like an interview, if I ever did that, like actually got to interview cartel members and whatnot, and and if, if I ever achieved what I would love to achieve with it, I think at, that that's a point when you'd think about quitting the channel. Unless you do other things like that, but... Yeah, I agree, Hans, I agree. Yeah, my mum was a Catholic teacher and worked at a public school before she immigrated to the US. And then I came around. The guy she taught was captured by La Guardia Nacional last year, I think. Are you serious? That's crazy. Yeah, I know Savox. Uh, Savox. I've, not, I've not watched a lot of his stuff, but I know who he is, yeah. Yeah, Wanderer for Life. Yeah, th those, see, that was before my time. The Eubank days, right? Ben Eubank, Michael Watson. Who else was knocking about back then? Yeah, I like Old Raven. Nah, I'm not smoking the joint. Are you a Tottenham fan, shy, shy Ted? Can't see in your picture. Um, in terms of recent videos, Luis, I'd say Miss Pac-Man, the five students in um, in Jalisco. Sounds like a good holiday. I went to Cancun as a kid in 1987. Went to a bullfight, got sunburnt and sick. And there were lizards in our hotel room. See, I like lizards. I like lizards. Don't like snakes, I like lizards. Fires in Chile. I'm, I'm, I can't find this on socials. It's kind of crazy, like, see, I don't, I, I didn't even, 
I, I, I'm not even aware of these fires in Chile. I go on BBC News, the main story, King Charles diagnosed with cancer. There's more things going on in the world than like some rich, privileged guy. It's crazy, isn't it? See, I, I don't like snakes. I'm not a fan of snakes. I like lizards. Don't like spiders. Scorpions are pretty cool. Don't like centipedes. I like sharks. Mike Torino was a great character in GTA. <laughs> disturbed, disturbed reality is officially admitted he's a lizard. So it's pretty apt, uh, Mr. Rothschild, that Prince uh, or King Charles is on the on the front page, right? Yeah, I've tried Mexican food, but like we don't get proper Mexican food out here. So like tacos and enchiladas and whatnot, burritos, chimichangas. I've only I like Mexican food, but I want to try like a real thing kind of thing. I want to try the real thing. My favorite was um so I went to a Mexican restaurant. That was nice, it was nice. And the tacos I had were um, beef tongue. I forgot what it was called. Is it Languna or Lang... Lang I swear it's, it began with an L. But it was like beef tongue tacos and they were so good. So good, man. So good. But yeah, it was beef tongue. Beef tongue tacos. And they had this like green sort of chilli sauce. I forgot what it was called. It was so good. That's it. Yeah, Lengua. Yeah, that's it. And it's so good. Loved it. People, people are honestly, beef tongue is underrated as hell in general. So good. So good. My mum, my mum was born uh, in Puebla, Mexico, and we eat Mexican food for dinner. The issue is. If I spent a lot of time in Mexico, I think I would come back severely overweight. Because I know I'd enjoy the food too much. Because I know my palate. I like spicy food. I like I like spicy food. Yeah, man. Beef tongue is amazing. Beef tongue's great. They weren't playing Funky Town, no. Lengu is my favourite. I liked it. Yeah, we need, to, we need to get a Mexican population in the UK. There's actually quite a decent population of, like, Colombians in the UK, believe it or not, and uh, Brazilians. There's I've never met a Mexican in the UK. I've never met a Mexican in the UK. But I'm all for it. If I'm Prime Minister of the UK, I'm gonna try and encourage I'm gonna try and encourage Mexicans to come over and open restaurants. That's my grand plan. I'm gonna Google this. How many Mexicans live in the UK? Nine thousand seven hundred and seventy-one, apparently, according to the last census. There you go. <clears throat> I've got an older brother. I've got an older brother. Yeah, and why would you come to the UK though? In all seriousness, the weather sucks. The weather sucks. Why would you come to the UK? <laughs> And it's a long way, like you said. Yeah, and that's another thing. So my uh, first boss, he went to Mexico and he was saying, like, uh, even, like, I forget where he was. I think he was in Baja, California, I think. And he was saying, like, even the cheapest, like, tacos you buy in, like, a food stand are, like, unbelievable. Like, I'm real. Yeah, I've tried tacos, yeah. I tried to make them myself as well, but 
I'm not a great cook. I like to cook, but I'm not great. But I, I cook them myself. I don't make my own tortillas, but yeah. Oh, fucking turn the cam off. On a lighter note, I have a recommendation you need to try if you if you're ever in Mexico. Uh, get yourself some milanesa. Milanesa is a it's basically steak breaded in crushed saltine crackers. It's the best. That sounds good. That sounds good. Can you have it rare though? Like. I'm assuming you can. That sounds fucking amazing. I'd assume, I'd assume there's more Mexicans in Spain. It would make sense because of the language, obviously, right? And, and it's decent weather. I'd assume there are. Let's Google it. How many Mexicans live in Spain? 61,000 as of 2020. In Spain. There you go. Dig up to yourself, bro. Greetings to Syria. Going right back at you. Hopefully you're well, man. <clears throat> uh, no, chippies are good. Yeah, chippies are good. A good chip shop is amazing. It is good. It is good. But there are, you have to beware though, like there are some shitty chippies, uh, shitty chippies in the UK. If you get a good chippy though, it's amazing. It's really good. Oh, yeah, I know. I know, Daniel. I know. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's, winters are grim out here. Winters are grim. It's like windy as hell right now. You may even be able to hear it in the background. That would be good. A, a, a care package. That would be good. That would be bueno. That would be great. Uh, nah, I've not, I've not set anything up. I've not set anything up. Oh, no, no, no worries, Daniel. No worries. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, the tippy near me used to be really good, but it got taken over. Now it's fucking shit. So we don't go there anymore. We don't go there anymore. That sounds good. Uh, menudo. It's Mexican soup of cow stomach and broth. Try it with homemade tortillas. That sounds good. Yeah. I th yeah, I need to find a post box, a PO box. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I fucking hate the UK weather. As I get older... I struggle with winter more and more and more. I get like that seasonal fucking depression bullshit. I'm not, I'm not depressed, by the way, but I just get fucking wound up. I just hate winter in this country. Fucking hate it. Happens all the time. Happens all the time. It's a big thing out here as, as well with pubs. Like sometimes you'll get a really good pub, like a really atmospheric pub. The landlord's done great. They'll sell it. And the person coming in just ruins it. Utterly ruins it. Like a good pub in the UK is hard to beat. Like we do have some nice stuff out here. Like a good pub, like with a good community, a good atmosphere, the, like the regulars. A good pub is hard to beat. A good A good pub is hard to beat. I do like me some fajitas, I'm not going to lie. I do like me some fajitas. Uh, 
Uh, no, bro. Uh, no, I've never been sent hate from any other YouTubers for the videos I make. Nah. Mainly just DayZ, uh, Robert Maguire. On PC, I'm playing DayZ at the minute, more than anything. Thank you, uh, Heligon or Heligon. Thank you. I like that profile picture, by the way. And thank you for your kind comments. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, man. But anyway, we've been going for four hours, guys. Before we wrap it up, I'd like to thank you guys for the support that you've shown me over the last, well, ever since I started. But obviously, with what's been going on in the last couple of days, uh, the comments on the video I made about it was uh, very uh, heartwarming, much appreciated. The support was actually overwhelming. Because usually when something like that happens, you'll get some negative comments, like people poking fun. Nobody did. It was all pure positivity. As well as um, uh, everybody who like uh, retweeted my stuff on Twitter, showed your support. Honestly, been so, so much appreciated. It's been amazing. So thank you guys for being there. Um, definitely owe you guys. Definitely owe you guys. But yeah, <clears throat> my fucking throat. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. I need to get to work on the next video in the next couple of days because naturally this has put me behind. But we're talking about CJNG again. So anyway, um, big up guys. Amazing, con uh, amazing support. I'm not very good at these sort of things, but yeah, it's, it's been really heartwarming. So thank you guys very much. Anyway, last last one. Um, when, when am I going live next? I try to, listen, I'd like to do it every month, but sometimes, you know, time issues and whatnot. But anyway, I'll catch you on Friday with the next video and we'll go from there. Anyway, guys, peace out. Have a great evening, night, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. Catch you on the next one. Peace.